A very good evening to you. Welcome to Obina Show Live. Yo, Kibe is done. <laughs> okay, so the rumors or the news that is reaching me now is that Kibe's YouTube page, the second one, has been shut down. I'm on a live show now, so I'm a little bit collected, but inside me, this is the video depicting how I'm feeling Kondani. Tommy to Kosita. Aye. Tommy to Kosita. Tommy to Kosita. Aye. Tommy to Kosita. Tommy to Kosita. Hey. I'm to Kosita. Aye. I'm to Kosita. Yeah, finally, it was about time somebody did something. And actually, I have a picture showing what his fans are doing now. They are headed kuku kobare. Wana na kutafta mtu kina kutukana. Even when your fans wake wako saizi. Yep. That is true. We tried to reach out to Kibe. Just to, you know, mourn with him. Nah, I'm lying. <laughs> okay, to laugh at him. But uh, his team said he's not available now because he's going through a tough moment and he's having a private moment focusing on important things in his life. This is the uh, photo of... Uh, the important. <laughs> hey, yo, it's about time, man. It's about time for it. Wait, who are video in it? And I keep a mile. Kuna video in Guinea. Video Ganyo. Ebu chase of video. The first Luo. I know Jack Akajov and more Panda. They would make me their next Luo kingpin. Raila is done. Blasphemy. We are done with Raila. I am the future for the Luo Nation. I am the future of the Luo Nation. You guys have nobody. You can hire me for at least maybe the next 15, 20 years. I'll do a great job. Yep, so the rumors are that is the video that made his uh, YouTube get shut down. You know you cannot just talk about Baba like that. <laughs> At you are the next. Where Kwenda Uko? Serves you right, you sadistic, puny shit. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> another bad news that is happening on the ground is for the ladies called Diana. Yeah, so today, in case you live under a rock, uh, Pastor Ezekiel decided to confess some hard truths of women who are called Diana. Here's the video. Have you ever seen anybody by the name Diana? Diana? You cannot find even a single one. Ukiowa Diana uishi na ye. If you marry somebody by the name Diana and live with her, ye Diana control kama robot ana kubeba ye. She's the one who controls you like a robot. Utaishi na Diana. You will always live with Diana. She becomes the husband. Ana fanya kandi mume wako. Lakini wewe uwe mume. But for you to be a husband, Diana naenda. Diana will go. Hapo nimeongea ukwi. Right there and say the truth. Number two. Jambo la pili. Usimpe mtoto wako jina Diana. Never name your child Diana. Sababu akiolewa. Because when she gets married, utashare na watu. You will share her with people. Diana is loved by anybody even without her knowledge. Do you know that? It is true. Even without her consent. Somebody will tell you that whenever I look at you, I get confused. I saw the video. I had a lot of mixed reactions around it. Because I was just thinking, what a blanket assumption. Wow. So... A name defines a person. Okay. Maybe, maybe not. Speculation or speculative. However, I think, I don't really blame Pastor Ezekiel on this. I blame the people around him. <laughs> Pastor Ezekiel is a Ni wale watu wana musaround. Watu wali mwenyesha hivyo idea kina Diana B. Guys, please, watch any kutumia pastor Ezekiel videos that they are. Bisa saona, surely. 
and then wacheni kuchezea pa ziziki za ngoma za Michael Jackson. Dati Diana. However, by the people who are called Diana have been good. There's been Princess Diana. Oh, okay. We don't do Dati Diana. Okay, Diana B. Okay. Do you know any Diana mwenye tabia zake zimenyoka hivi na mwenye anangoja ntoa? If you know them, let us know in the comment section below. Because personally, I don't agree with it. But uh, they always say, mm -hmm, me, what do I know? Anyway, unajua pa ziziki la kisemanga inakuwa ni kama... Na alisema ni ukweli yake amwambia na unajua ni mtu ameonekaniwa na Mungu. <laughs> also, another video that is making rounds over the weekend, there's a Somali wedding and in this wedding you can see clearly the bride is not happy at all. Ama sijui kama she's happy from within. Hebu cheze hiyo video. Nakuja, she will need to do that later, but I'm insist. I am a militia kekikidogo, Abu Dipia, Kajifania, Taki Kula, on Ameka, Bride and Alala, and a Kuja Kulala, and Alala Kwarusiaki, Ama Menuna, Okanomen Pakia Nikoso. You're on the foundation, literally. I am a Gonga Kidoga Kamuka, Sasaona, and I'm Biwa, Lakini, ay, ay, ay. I saw this video and uh, it, was, it was very painful to watch. So I was thinking two things. One, either she's not marrying the love of her life, it's an arranged marriage, or it's an arranged marriage. Because weddings are normally for the bride, it's never for the guy. But for this case, the guy is happier than the bride. You would think, who is the bride in this situation? Lakini ata huyo morio. Anenda kulala usingizi kando yo mwanamuke naote. Mutu amefura hivyo kwa harusi. Na ufunge macho na ulale. Hey, muna risk. <laughs> Welcome to Obina Show Live. We're going to be having this and much more conversations tonight. <coughs> and of course, we are coming to you live from Miale 72 Lounge. That is in Lovington. place to be if you want privacy you want amazing food that's affordable the couch is on site and you want somewhere where mabosi wana chill see what we vivi una come here 72 lounge and asking for me special amazing food nyama choma yao iko sawa samaki yao hata tusianze kuongea very nice very nice for this episode i'm hosting an long old time friend of mine rival friend enemy frenemy hater support structure to me hustle nae and also an OG in the industry. Huyo mutu aliniyanganya kazi ya state house hivi. Hivi! 
Yaani nilikuwa nimepata maka nikamwambia Obina you are the center of MC. Kidogo. Naona tu itaku. Kwaje. Chipukizi. Shakuwa bro. Vini 2032 utaingia bro. <laughs> <laughs> Itakuwaje. Shakuwa master. Aki wewe ulinifanya tabia mbaya bro. No 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 unajua sisi watu wa ukambani. Ai. Tunajua kujipanga bladha. Tunapita katikati yenu. I saw it first hand. Mm? Yaani bro nimengangana. Nimekuja na idea. Mm. Nikabeba president kwa Wilbur. Mm. Mimi mu, alikuwa mzito bwana. Naenda hivi anaenda kwangu anajiambia ukiangusha president unajua mangusha country. Mm. Na mushika hivi kidogo na mushika. Nikasema haya, ika trend. Wilbur movement. Nini nini? Lakini ni vile nyinyi mlikuwa mmekuja kukata. Kukata nini? Hapo ni maziwa mlikuwa mmekuja kukata. Hatukupatiwa hata shilingi. Aye. For real. Maziwa haikuingia. Hatukupatiwa hata Bob. Trust me. Ole bro. Labda hapo ndiyo aliona kaona watu wanaona ambition. <laughs> Utaingia aje Karen na utupia wow. kitu. No because wana wakamba tiwa pesa ufala. Misi mm. kwa ntaka thao tano, thao kumi. O, watu walikuwa na pewa hizo? Misi, uh, watu walikuwa na patio ma washing machine zile za car wash. Yes. Matangi, vitu yes. za salon, nini. Yes. Hawa watu wamekamu. Yes. Then pia kuna watu wana patio fair, nini, thao tano, thao kumi. But pole bro, I don't know why you are complaining. Sini mekuwa na juzi na mama. Yeah? Na wuko sawa na mama hapo. Siwendele hivyo na mama nini, birthday, <laughs> nini, nini. Wacha kuongea mbaya. Sasa nikikuwa kwa mama yetu, unasikia vibaya. No, unajua mama ndi wana advice baba. So, inakaa wewe ndi una advice mama, advice baba. Wow. <laughs> wacha kurizo kama salasia. Haya, <laughs> pana. We, wacha ni kuambie. Unaona nyuele yako na salasia ni same. Naona birds of a feather. Uh, nyuele inaweza kuwa same, lakini kizungu wa pana. We, wacha kunikompea na salasia hivyo wewe. <laughs> Tunafanana, Selassie first of all, Selassie ndo jua mimi zieo na mtu kapa, anakuanga happy all the time. Ata kifight na we, kuna zikuwa likuwa na agi na we, na hui wa vina, na mimi ni dekozana na ye. Kuna difference ya kuwa happy na kuwa high. Uyo ni high? I don't know, me I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Kulikuwa na chupa hapo, kwa meza. Lakini Selassie ni beste yangu sana. Ye, yeah, ani, it's a, it's a good man. At least to the people who me assist. Na Steve was simple boy. Now... <laughs> How did you get to state house? Iyo no kitu nataka kujua mbaka thai. What did I not do right? Uh, I mean, what you did not do right is that, uh, you know, it's, it's important, Obina, you guys start uh, appreciating that uh, I am one of the best. I am the best, actually. And so sometimes when important decisions about um, seeing talents, when, when they sit down and decide, unakuja number 37, hmm? Okay, goja. Number one, ni nani? Mulolongo's Mo, finest. <laughs> Number two? Mulolongo's finest. <laughs> Number three? Erika na ingilia hapo. <laughs> Number four? Uh, siko chua kama ndampea. <laughs> Aya. Number 36? Because mini go 37. Wuko 30. Oh, unajitafuta? No, si wame sema mini go 37. Twende, fungua so, 36 page. ni nani? Utona Oga Obina. Eh. Mm. Na hiyo nivele uliko unaongea kama muna ijeo. Sasa hivi unaongea Kiswahili sasa hata uko 40. Ukiongea kama lakini bro no but on a serious note bro let me tell you you know eh hii usani ni usema ni job usipoifanya na akili ita itakulemea so unasema sina akili ndio akili uko nayo kuitumia nazitumi kutumia saa nyingine ndio unaitumia kama kibe but what i'm saying is Hii story yote ya kuwa kwa gavasa hii. Mumi tinawasea wana niambia, oo manze umeangukia. Sijaangukia. Na si favor. Kwa sababu, you realize that in Kenya when campaigns are ongoing, nothing else happens. Our business is down. You can't do anything. Hata uenda ushu to move you toe. Hakuna. Ayezi beat rero ni rero. True. That's the only conversation. So, while I was in Nakada, I knew that we were getting into campaigns. I had served in government as a director, and so I learned to realize the government works. But one of the things that I realized was so powerful to me was what God gave me, talent. Okay. And so I looked ahead and I had to make decisions. You know, uh, at some point, you know, your deep state, what you approach, you can be 
Una, unataka to extend your term ama ah. unataka ama unataka Uru walikuita uh, wacha, wacha kuchoma wewe haya haya deep state bus <laughs> <laughs> let's assume we don't know who that is eh, let's yeah. assume we don't know who yeah, that is ndugu zanguni but the question was yeah. do you want to extend your term as a director or do you want to say uh, rero ni rero rero ni rero so because of how i had gotten the job job ilikuwa nime nime approach deputy president then Yeah. nikamuomba wira nikamwambia mdosi mimi ni msanii niko mmoja kama artist kama mimi ni artist niko na 500,000 followers nimejenga shule home yeah. nipatieni ile kazi ya jagwa then akanipa hiyo job so vile niliona na run for president nilimsupport kama best nilimsupport kama ni kama wewe siku moja uniambie chipu nataka tuende tukaoe ukanipeleke nikachukue ah. demu yangu mimi ni kwa mimi unipeleke kuoa hiyo kitu inaitangwa aje hiyo ni wrong example tumia mtu mwingine mimi sio hii Okay uniambie tupeleke zile mbuzi za kukata bibi yako. Ah kuna Unajua wakamba wanakwanga hizo ya kuwa. Wakamba wanakwanga na hiyo tabia. Eh. Bibi akileta ujinga mm. unarudisha mbuzi kwa mamake. Mimi sijarudishiwa mbuzi zangu but it's fine. Zitarudi. Ai. So I mean eh, when I when he was running ukaweka mkono. Nilimsupport kama mtu alini support yeah. one time in my career. And I did not Dil, si kuenda hapo kama celeb kama star nilienda kama best vile unaweza enda kwa best yako akifanya mjengo umsupport yeah. so then because of how exposed we were nili manage ku kuomba space yet mimi while we are doing all these campaigns i would love to be your hemsi i would like to to be the guy who is hosting because i do it and i know how to do it best yeah, yeah. and then also i knew god willing if we win that i am going to have a space around the same space because also kama artist nili feel vile niliingia kama director ilikuwa ina clash kidogo na nakana wazee kwa boardroom nakana wazee kwa boardroom dawa ya arthritis wewe uko na ngova amupatani ilikuwa i think also i think as an artist expectation to mob kwa wa Kenya whether you are director or not wazee wataki kujua na kada ukia pia unajua chipukizi mzee anataka kupelekwa rehab ni wewe ndio utampeleka mzee anataka kujua ni wewe ndio utapigiwa mzee Watu wanataka kufanya operation mtu kwa baa kama hiyo akikuja washikane ni wewe ndio unapigiwa. Wewe kwa nini mnatuma na kada wakuja kutuvuruga usiku? Mimi niko tala je nimelala. You know so then ni can make a decision that moving forward and in an event where this president wins mimi nataka ku occupy space yenye na yaza exercise usani. Na hivyo ndio nikakunyang'anya kazi. Bwana kulikuwa na a lot of gatekeepers but it's not easy. Unajua hizi spaces bro let me tell you. Sometimes when you sit down and wait for you to be given these things hakuna mtu atakupea. Juu naweza kuambia hiyo jani yote kutoka during campaigns kutoka hata saa hii. Yeah. Eh, I think Kenya tumetengenezwa structure yenye wa vijana hatujaikuaga kuna space. Lazima. Yaani yeah, of which I wanted to ask you because even when I was initially when I was UDA I was always in those spaces. Kwani where are you now? Umeingia Wajakoya? Ah, yeah, sijaingia Wajakoya sijatoka mm. but sasa unajua sasa hii ni Kenya kwanza. Yes. Yes, so it came Kenya Kwanza yes, before yes, that yes, it was UDA. Yes. So when I was there you when you get those spaces they always this to wazewa oh kijana ananiambia nini mm. wewe hatuko mm. radio uko TV songa uko mimi ndio mm. chief of protocol. Anakulizanga wewe ni nani? Eh mimi ndio nini mimi ndio alafu mtu amekujua ni Itumbi. Itumbi yako busy with a million and one things. Akina theory wenye pia amekujua pia yako busy with a million and one things. Sasa ni wewe upambane na huyu mzee. Mbona unasema ah fanya bas. Wewe ulipitaje? Now was the water. Mbaka tasaia even see you hosting events and I know how government events are. There's like five old men who will just appear. Mimi unajua nilisoma na baba ya huyu mimi nimejua na kaanga aje. Mimi nimeshikanga microphone yake. Mimi unafanyanga aje hapa. Nikifua kila siku tunaambiwa sisi ndio viongozi wa kesho. So kati ya viongozi wa leo na wa kesho wa gani who is more relevant? ni wa kesho si ndio ni wa kesho we wacha politics no nakwambia ukweli ndio aniambie tu weka kujanijibu uliingia hapa na kifua ama na ukora kidogo kidogo ama kuna mtu alikushikilia mkono tumeingia na maombi Mungu ukora kidogo but honestly kuna wazee hapo tunafinyana nao kidogo kuna wazee hapo wana try kukuput down but i see it now najiambia wewe kama unazuia hii mlango inamaanisha hapa hii mlango ndio tunafaa kuingia nayo so The wa, mi wambia wase, the worst thing ukitaka sisi wasanii tusiingie kwa hizi spaces mtu kama mimi yeah. usinizuie ukinizuia ndio nataka kuingia hapo nijue kwa nini huu kwa nini wewe ni nani the mwenye and then also unajua mimi believe one of the reasons why I've been I do what I do now bro it uh, I realize that young people we are a voice 
yeah. tusome huko village manze kuna vijana uniona wanataka tis kukuwa kama mimi wanataka kujituma kama mimi okay. so nikienda nipatane na mzee kama huyo mwenye 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 anafili space ni yake na nione yenyewe mzee amenifinya na niende hata hivyo vile unasema nionge na wadosi nione ule mzee siwezi deal na yeye yeah. na ku encourage najiambia okay fine so kwa wale vijana wako nyuma yangu hii ni hii ni mzigo moja yenye nafaa kuondoa so that hata kama si mimi hata nikiondoa na papa kinipa baya wacha niondoe na ni ni, ni, ni stamp vile ule mzee aliyeka bendera wa kwanza kwa mlima ni kwemtu yeah. wa kwanza kutoa mzee hapa nikashika mic ndio vijana wengine waingie hata okay. sahi after kuna wazee walikuwa wakaleta pressure wakachomoka hata sahi kuna wengine eh, maivurugana na mtu ile ukasema hii hata noma mkashikana leo mashati nini kwambia uongee ile kwa hiyo microphone nikamwambia nitaongea na no, wife kangi hapo eh on ile tu wele za young man what do you want go and sit down wife kangi hapo niyo tu eh, huyu ni nani toka hapa security wanakufinya unawaambia <laughs> wata kunifika baada ya muni juu itakuwa you know <laughs> but i think also <laughs> with time yeah. and this is the good i think with time to manage to build majina zenye waseo na respect because yeah. unapata kama sasa hivi the new regime even wale walijaribu kutufinya walijaribu kutufinya but unapata tuko kwa space yenye president ana to respect ame to give space watu yeah. wanyawa around him you don't have to be told twice what these people do yeah na pia tujaenda pale every kenyans know our job so atujaenda pale pia kwenda kwenda na unajua pia obina lazima to fight his space unajua ni uncomfortable let me be honest with you it's been uncomfortable unaenda stadium kasa kuna wazee wewe ni msanii watu wanakuita star maybe mnavurugana hiyo mnakuwa uncomfortable you make each other uncomfortable hey, but ndio ufungue hiyo njia mbosi unajua ndio watu wajue hata sisi wa unajua tunakuanga tumeonesha ni kama hatuwezi fanya job hapo ndio na kuonesha ati siasa zitakumaliza zitakumalizaje na siasa ndio zinatugavan zinatugavan <laughs> unaona no, no. watu wataki tukae karibu na e-space mtu wataki ni hiyo microphone is a, is the biggest i mean say is the biggest platform kwa sababu unapoformia nchi mbele ya president una at one point kuna time wa Kenya 52 million kuna chance watakuwa na watch what you are doing True. sisi kama wasanii hata sai bro tunataka watu watuone but unapata sasa unajiuliza nao nda uzajina nda kuwa mfemas nda kuwa star ama nda skuma hii barrier iondoke yeah. so then that's what push, pushes pushes me ku, ku kujaribu manze na na so, mtu kushika mkono i mean kushika mkono president himself from when he won he he he, he wanted he wanted because i had made the request he wanted me to to play a part in the inauguration so when i played a part in the inauguration pia mimi nilikuwa nimeona hiyo vision i didn't let it go every day nikienda this is what i want to effect this is what i want to do and then also tunajiambul tu naongelesha how was i when you call your office naomba manze how do you guys do it mentor me show me teach me hey, do they do that even if they don't but you know you lie mimi zile government functions nimefanya we most of them don't they how most of them what is this umekazirikia nini just you but know like right now we have uh, the guy who is in charge of state function gitonga you yeah. know he's, he's also one of us he's been yeah, in yeah, the media yeah, space yeah. he gets it you know like right now every time anaona kitu yenye ni ama youth anambia achi puyo wewe ndio utafanya tu no but sasa ninaweza pata event ni hold people alone doubt how to a protocol sijui nini no no na inakuwa iko everybody knows we are doing this si watu ngangani na ukikumbuka hata siku za Ted manze tulikuwa hata wewe ulikuwa unatafuta hizo space tulikuwa tunatafuta yeah. tunapewa dakika yeah, kidogo tunafinywa ngano nasonga nayo but say na bro acha nikwambie whether president ruto is a president now even in 50 years to come in space tuna need to maintain for our generations wasanii watu vijana watu young kenya yacha ku sound boring unajua yeah. to create open space wageni uh, waheshimiwa <laughs> wana upita mbele yako sasa mm. ni vijana uh, wa kesho <laughs> now when you mc wa president rikija kona mc unataka kukua najituma tu bro come on man <laughs> we got to start somewhere <laughs> eh rikijini truthful man eh uh, so, honest man ni an honest man yeah. Kama unataka kama unataka kuwa MC bro eh uh, siwarigiji bro ama uko MC wa MC unajua pia wacha madarao we Usikuwe hivyo chipi sometimes just put in a good word always you MC arigiji na president at the same time no but i i know obina and i can say here without uh, fear i know with time your space tutakuwa tunaiyo occupy as as as, as me and you 
as me and you and as kwati hapo especially kwanza hii december ina come jamhuri yeah. jamhuri utaona tu utapigiwa tu simuoni hakuna ah. tusi 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 bro godly to bless apart from hizi kazi tunafanya kama hii unafanya hapa yeah. uko na other avenues zenye wewe umeknazo god ame to bless lazima tuendelee kuvutana tukue na mimi ndaongelea hiyo space naongelea hiyo ofisi yangu hiyo microphone yangu lazima tu yoke chupa yeah. kwa sababu chipukizi yake wapo alone eh, chipukizi is a small person when eriko obina all of us when we are able to put it's easy to grow yeah. it's also easy for the president to understand eh, hii ecosystem ya watu and then pia unaonesha na ni kama hiyo kitu ya Churchill show nafikiria tulikuwa tuna grow kwa sababu kila msee alikuwa na kam dakika tano with a different strength True. and Kenyans love that ukiendelea kuka naangalia tu watu wote wenye wamejaribu kufanya vitu kivyao hawajaenda mbali sana ona sauti sol wako pamoja True. ona gengeton ona hata council vile wali come together na gengeton they made something beautiful yeah. so then mimi nina push na rafiki yako Dennis Tumbi ndiye eh, ndio chairman wa national celebrations so we have been talking to him ah. telling him that Dennis you must open this space for other artists Okay. And so it's December ni come here go there. Come here go Kumbia there. Kumbe ana title unataka tujue. Itumbe tumekupata. <laughs> Anaramia unajua mimi ni wakami ya go there. Kumbe ndio chama na national celebrations. No eh ndio chama national celebration na advisor wa mdosi mambo ya usanii na Aya, uh, Itumbi you got my number brother. Fanya mambo yako. A lot of people always want to know. Even me I was wondering president am I kupiga simu katika TV siku? Hey bro. Bro sasa pia ni nini ni mwanzi. Na tunajua president alalangi. Sema hello bwana. Hey, hello, Iko na kesho na rauka mali huko <laughs> na sauti usi usikunywe sana unajua vijana <laughs> siku hizi anafanya namna hii namna hii but unajua mimi sikunywa ngi obira i've been sober for five years wacha uongo wewe nikikujua nilikuwa nakunywa ndio nikikujua <laughs> no ulikuwa unabebwa no niliwacha but sasa kwa unatemeana na bi utakunywaje alikwambia usijaribu hiyo fala ndio well hiyo sio reason mdosi lakini akuniambia akuniambia but why did you stop uh, it backfire no what about backfire si pombe no kitu ili happen ni unakumbuka bro na hii story ni yako unakumbuka tukianza usitome <laughs> <laughs> bwana siezi choma eh, tukianza comedy eh. mimi before ni kwe na mimi mwambia wasee mimi mwambia wasani mimi wana wasee wakitry kuniaga kwa hizi kipindi za za after on artists oh hizi eh, mimi sikuwa na plans za kukuwa famous sikuwa na najua kama ina na unao unakumbuka vizuri sana tukiwa na tukiwa national theater Yeah. So my first office as, a, as an artist ilikuwa Tribeca. Na kwa hizi bars of Fredo Mons and tulikuwa tunatembea tukipiga mstari. Yeah. So the only thing master tulikuwa tunalipwa kwa hizo bana unakumbuka ilikuwa anga ni Henakens, pombe, <laughs> eh, nyama na madem. Sio nakumbuka vizuri sana. <laughs> Mimi sikuwa nakunywa pombe. Wewe ulikuwa unakunywa madem lakini <laughs> ma <have> to... tu. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow jibukizi. <laughs> so now <laughs> eventually unakuja unakuwa popular unapata your own money you're still performing in these clubs yeah. but now you have 30000 muzinga madem so unakunywa so yeah. much and yeah. then sasa watu wote wanafikiria juu ni kijana na wewe ni msanii wewe ni mzee wa sheretu so everything that people offer you easily it's alcohol so we tulikunywa pombe sana unakumbuka ikafika mahali sasa nikaanza ku feel uh, one health wise nilikuwa na shida ya tumbo so one time i went to to hospital daktari alikuwa mkamba akaniambia kasema unajua usiapo usipo acha mambo ya pombe mm. hii kitu itakuja kukuweka chini na msa what you mean akaniambia hii kitu hii pombe imeharibu sana tumbo yako for real so then i started trying to quit slowly and then now nilikuwa nimeingia kwa nakada nilikuwa nimekuwa director so nikaji challenge akaniambia let me quit then also nika realize eh, i was surrounded by a lot of by a very toxic group of Alcohol. people Alcohol. <laughs> drunkards eh hey, jukutajipata huku na kama hii miale unaweza kuja hapa miale na na watu 10 yeah out what 10 kuna ni maybe hata ni maaddict huashisha na pombe true lakini walishajua ubo uko anga na cash flow so atutakosa 20k yeah. ya hii bill so unajipata na hiyo inakuwa ubeste yako iko centered around wewe ni kama speaker wewe ule toa site <laughs> <laughs> ukija perform function yako karash Rona eh. then slowly now and then also now life yangu bro ilikuwa chaotic niko all over niko there so much tuna fight kwa ba tuko na it's too much so then nikatiambia i needed to change master yeah. 
then one of the things I said is I need to stop drinking alcohol because I needed to cut off a lot of people in my life. So it's a decision you made on your own? Yes. Na ukawacha? Na nikawacha bro. Na mabeshte wakapotea, of course. Mbaka tzivaleo. Wangini wakanitusi, wakasema nimekua mwanda wazimu. Wangini wakaenda kwa mablogs. Kasi hamewacha pombe. Hamelongwa. But you see, lesson ni melan ni manze bro, nili take life yangu back. As an artist manze, usipokuwa na hizo moments. Utapotea, yeah. utapotea kabisa. So you kukua soba, umekua, prezi na kupiga mbida tu nashikanga? <laughs> eh, wala ni pigi yangi, eh. lakini ya kipiga ndashika. Ah, prezi na kupiga yangi aje? Midnight. No, ok, ayo kupigia sangapi. Lakini kwa nini tunanza kuongelea mambo ya raisa hapa kwa isho ya? Siwe ni pre, MC wa president? Na sikazi ya MC ni kuongea kwa microphone. <laughs> Mwishmua Rais, eh. anaye ni zungumzia hapa, eh. mchomi. Ah! <laughs> Ana angependa pia umuandike kazi. Ni ule jamali kubeba kwa Wilbaro. Ni ule jamali kubeba kwa Wilbaro. Eh. Angependa umuandike kazi, lakini eh. tutafanya vetting sisi. Ah. Kwa sababu Come unajua on. shareholding. Wewe umekua getkeeper sasa. <laughs> By the way, there are rumors that are going around. Mm. That watu wa kitu wa state house. Yes. Wendo natuanga jina watu kwa list. Oh, mi unaitua? Ye. Yeah. Si naipeana? Unatua. Ah, ni maheta bro. Me I have no role ya ya kuita watu state house. I have no role ya ku, ya kuita Ni nani anaitananga state house? Si wale watu wako in charge ya entertainment ya state. What are entertainment? Mm. Kuna watu wengi maslay queen manini wanendanga wanapiga mapicha huko nini nini. No, nani anawaitanga? Hao walikuwa wameitwa siku ya talanta hela. Mimi nilikuwa nimeitwa tu kama hao. Nikaambiwa wewe ndo una MC leo. Mimi sitangi mtu. Ukisikia mtu anasema hivyo ni mtu ananichukia tu bure. Yeah, Walisema chipukizi ndio get keeper wa state house. Hapana bro. Well, ah. lakini hiyo pia ni news poa. Unasikia vile una chipukizi ndio gatekeeper. Hey! It's <laughs> a good title. It's a good title. So, let me tell you a story. Uh, it's being announced. Yes. That day for the, the president. Yes. So, me, I'm like, so I have to go and MC on the announcement time. Kuna venue mulikuwa. Yes. You remember? Where na MC Jesse? Yes. And I announce... Uh, Bomas? Nyi mulikuwa... Yes. Kuingine. Yes. Na the, the team. Yes. Kukaziwa. Kuingia. Kukaziwa. Ulikuwa uko inje. Hey. Kuna itangwa kufinywa. Eh. Hey. You are to come for that function. Yes. You are to MC. Bro. Yeah, na hivyo ndo nilipata kazi. By the way, let me tell you vile nilipata kazi. Ay, na mimi. Ya, ya, ya. Wale nguwa vile nilipata job. Mimi nilikuwa US. Nika kam Kenya. Kam Kenya nika wana siyasa vile zinaenda. Nika jitumbi. Nika uko US nika wana itumbi ya mefinywa. Nikajiambia we. Kama itumbi ya mevinywa. Ni kunoma. Huku ni kunoma. Niende ni siende. Nga sema lazima. Nika mpigia ni mwambia mdosi na kam. Kukam tukakaka kidogo. Tukafanya meeting ya kwanza. Ya pili. Then nika kuwa kuna hiyo NDC na hape. Nika pigiwa around midnight. Nika ambuwa ni ingie kasarani. Lakini tasa juu mii na juwanga kupenya na mnaina mnai. Nika penya kasarani. Nika pata stage kwa empty. Hakuna mtu kwa stage. Hata Jesse ya yuko hapo. Hakuna mtu. Na microphone diyo hile. Na ndo hile mic pale. Kwanza, mimi nimevaa tu maraged. Watu wamevaa suti. Mimi nimekiki hapo na majinzangu. Mimi ni nani? Chipukizi ni nani? Chukua mic. Chukua mic. Alright, alright. Kwanza nikacheza rege watu wa maya. Madelegates Masi. wakaniambia ni wachane na ujingi ya rege hapo. Kumbe wewe ulikuwa uko inje? Bro! Ay, thank you Jesus. Na kuambia ni me, sisi ndio mimi ndio MC wa ini ni. Pole bro. Sema a a kama kuna jina kwa nini hapa mm. mbona kuna mm. Sasa all I have to do is to watch Pukizi kwa TV akishine. Na MC Jesse na tai yake moja hapo pole bro. Zile za. Na hivyo ndio wenyewe kazi ilinitoka. Usijali bro ndakupanga. Ndaku, niko na functions zangu private na kusote. <laughs> hapa pale nini? Buda. Mm. Nikiacha na ex wangu. No, 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 I'll pay you well. Staki, unipay well. Mina taka kazi ya government. No, but I'll represent the government in some way. Siki na represent the government. Bro, KBC. Haa, we wacha buwana. KBC. Eh, buwana. Ithaya Taifa. From Itaku. Waje. Ithaya Taifa. NTV. Hata KTN mulikuwa na Fred. Yes. Wenye Fred alipatele show yake KTN. Yes. KBC. Wa, KBC kuna shida gani? Sawa Leonard Mambo Motela. Wote hiyo maana ni retirement plan. <laughs> Ukiona mtu amemia ameingia KBC, hiyo ni retirement plan. Because <laughs> iko na pension. <laughs> you are pensionable, isn't it? Huko ni kwa wazae. No, huko tunataka kukuwe kwa Watu vijana. Watu wadogo KBC ni wangapi? <laughs> Wewe na Shiksha. <laughs> na Shiksha 
Yeah, was I na mangle ko kanya dance dance ona sema. Obina wacha ni kuambie. Sasa wewe. EKBZ. Eh. Ipatie very few months. Very few utawao utanipigia simu. Mnatoa kina Leonard mambo motela huko. Konywe kobo kobo. Unajua ni mai tu kazi KBC nikakata. KBC but is the best. Let me tell you. My experience in the industry Eh, experience gani umeanza kazi juzi unataka kutuongelea hapa nikao maifanya kazi KBC Buda, nimekuwa na experience mimi wapi experience gani si mali nilikuwa nafanya kazi juzi ulikuja nikatuka kuachia chance no, tunaongea hiyo maneno wacha hiyo kwanza wacha tutoresha KBC kwanza KBC niligundua hizi KBC ni ya serikali uh-huh. it's a government uh, broadcaster yes hizi zingine zote ni biashara unaona KBC si biashara hata kama ni biashara government iko na agenda za kusupport usanii. Uh-huh. So utapata it's easy for it's easy for usanii to make sense uh-huh. ndani ya KBC. Na hizi zingine mse anakuitanga pale ni biz bro. Hakuna talent me make profit. People want to make profit. People want to drop your show because I ina sponsorship. Uh-huh. People want to drop your show because you're not pushing their interest. People want to drop your show because you're not becoming a certain brand that they want you to become. But sasa unapata sasa hii depression watu wanashinda kuongelea bro let me tell you and i'm saying this with a lot of respect i does not it does not make sense to me that leo kenya tuna watch kwa tv prime papa chirandula tuna repeat show zake bro na hata alipass una get unataka kuniambia ha sewa wamekosa of all the talents no all of us yeah. all of us tuko tu, tu, tumededi tukisema omosh uh, uh, kona depression uko uko rui ama mali ako mali mlimtegea nyumba to wili e to like to wili mkisema akona u boy unajua nani nini si mumurudishe tu kwa ile kitu alikuwa anafanyanga u boy tunamuona ana mnatuambia kona depression na tunamuona kwa tv baada usiku na ha make anything from it na hayuko kwa hiyo job mimi jipukizi ukini stop ku perform mean nimeisha mimi ni samaki kwa maji yeah so unaangalia all these other stations their business bro sisi tunandanga hapo unafikiri hao sasa wanataka kukusukuma ama unafikiri wewe uko hapo ati ni wewe wo wanakuuza bro any product re so then i thought and bro we've had engagements with almost all of them about my show everybody wanted my show to get back on on their on their on their platform. on their platforms but the reason why i decided to settle on kbc i said maybe for the first time we have a regime that kama vile umesema yenye manzemba kam au maslek ni wako state house so ina maanisha He government is the agenda ina push the usanii then mimi kama chipukizi show yangu ikiwa hapa na hawa hata kama ndazeeka na kina Leonard wacha nizeeke hapo wacha nitoke hapa na pension birds of a feather wacha mimi nimekuwa na KBC no but ni poa sana ni wapoa sana very professional they are paying well sasa wewe sasa hii you are pensionable unalipwa na gava accommodating wewe endelea tu kunitukana tu But KBC kidogo wanajaribu. Yes. Wameanza kurudi rudi kitambo kidogo ilikuwa no hata metarish. Uita itoe ngoja uone. No. Tutaisimamisha. Kuna ma plan. Umesema nilete ubina show live huko. Eh hey, why not? Bro why not? Hakuna paki. Unajua ina depend pia. Oh. Ina depend pia na vile namna hii namna hii namna hii wewe umeona team ni watu wangapi hapa tukiingia hapo tuambie wako na zile kamera zao zile kubwa hivi zile but if you ask me though bro mm. if really kbc wants to and tunaongea honestly mm. yani show kama hii yako ni show ikakuwa kbc kbc na za bro na get yeah watu tuna mistake bro kuna na nilikuwa nasema jana kwa show yangu leo kwa show yangu eh, social media iko sawa tunaisifu sana sawa yeah. lakini bro i tell you that tuko kenya bado Kenya wase bado wana watch mainstream media. True. In as much as nilienda shags juzi nika nika notice. Manze mabese zangu manze wananga hata smartphone. Nikatululu tu. So nika realize ah sasa wako kwa mtandao. Ah sasa na nikaangalia nikaona hizo numbers. Nikajiambia ah wase wangekuwa wana watch vitu vile sasa tunataka kusema tunaonwa. Basi hata hii numbers za social media zingekuwa big. So nikajiuliza Ben then wase wako wapi? Nika realize wase manze wana watch TV. Huko KBC. Na huko home pia hawa watch niti. Kuna TV hawana hawa afford kulipia hizi decoder bro. Now I get your point. Unaona? 
So nasijambia mzee unaona anga eh utaka kuoch KBC apate news akona anajua kipindi mbili tatu zenye zi mbamba kuna zingine mpaka ziko na DJ Afro ziko sijui kama umeenda jazz akina DJ Afro blow ni ma, ni ma superstar cheki maneno cheki maneno alright alright kabisa unapoenda kurudi anakuleta advert hapo ya chipukizi show <laughs> ama kuingilia pale ni jitero <laughs> Akabonga kwa makagare. Ayo. <laughs> Basi wakagudhana uroro. <laughs> mm? Iko KBC. Well iko kwa TV station zingine oh, niliona hapo. Oh, Hiyo oh, oh. nimejua inile nini. But una get point yangu mdosi. Yes, yes, yes. That tusichochane na sisi watu nilikuwa naambia butita juzi msituchoche bro. Tuseme pesa iko wapi? Pesa iko ndio. But numbers zinakata. Numbers zinasema wa Kenya. Majority are living below, be below the nini. Mm. Wa Kenya are watching TV bro. You cannot. Obina. Wa Kenya awako TikTok na Facebook. Wa Kenya ni 52 million. Kevin hata kisema amekuwa number one kwa box office. Yeah. Ni kwa sababu wa say Americans. Real people wana kuanga wame watch kitu yake. Na wakaibai. So ina translate into numbers. Yetu huku saa nyingine unaona ni views tu. It trans kwa nini juu the real people Kisumu, Home, Webuye, Mombasa, Lamu, Oya. Those are the people. KBC I'm very sorry. Mdozi wa KBC nani? Eh anaitwa Maina. We I mean sasa hivi kana KBC bro na nyoroshwa pale online. Kibi atanikalia chini for one hour. Kibi anafanya siku hizi musi make decisions about your lives. Uh, Kwanza pale kwa ubare. Hmm? Watakaa chini Kwanza pale kimaster. Kibi manzesi kimoja aliniambia atisijui. Ali, kibi aliniita mimi. Kibi alisema. Ya kona jine hako. Ya kibi ali, 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 ali ni advice. Eh. Alisema ati, ati, alisema niambio ni hache kutembeza umbo wa kubwa kuniliko. Zindu zitani umba. Iyo ni gani yo? Umbo ni mademu. Oh. Nungu wana sema natembea na mademu. <laughs> I thought the last time I checked men were dogs. I didn't know you switch. Okay. Mm. Kuna okay. chiwawa. Eh, kwanza aliita hivyo lakini ah. ilichukua advice mbosi. <laughs> Aliniita chiwawa mimi. Nikasema <laughs> mm? mama dem ni bulldog. Mm? Kibe inano. Ni <laughs> <laughs> dem gani ulikuwa unatembea mm. naye? Uh, Wewe jua tu kibe ali ni this. Ni kibanja. Mm? Ni kibanja. Miss Jua alikuwa anaongelea nani? Kibanja ni umbwa. Wewe <laughs> wao. <laughs> 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 I don't okay, know, Ujinga. but you know when you're dating Kibanja, a lot of people thought she was above your league. What does that mean? That ni dem wenye kidogo awezi maintain. Ni dem wenye you have to go above your comfort to sustain. That's what is meant by someone who's above. Ni kama misa ni kipata ambare. Awezi maintain? Kwa ni nigari? No, stima. <laughs> Una maintain. Neza chesa ki generator, mm. sip KPLC. Mm. So, lakini Range Rover sina. Ile pesa ya Rapudo sina. Mm. Lakini kuingine na kwa tu zile baby you know you're my everything. <laughs> <laughs> baby in my life you are the only thing and it's true she'll be the only thing. Mimi kama mzee ametoka kwa Shags. Eh. Na bro wewe ni mtu wa village kama mimi. Yeah. Na and, and I think maybe nikisema tu sometimes boost kids of it what to say ma. Eh muzi ona tu kama vile sisi huenda tunashika microphone tunafanya tuna crack jokes we talk about people. So people also have freedom to talk about us. Okay. However, I don't believe that at the Unaweza kuwa dem big league, small league. Unako above. Bro, dem ni Kiswahili. <coughs> dem utakaa na yeye tu vile unamtreat, vile unampiga Kiswahili. Siwezi enda hata nikakuona do mingi aje, siwezi enda kuonyesha dem. Siwezi akakaa na dem juu na maintain. That is a wrong investment. Okay. But naweza takakaa na dem juu vibes. Unajua? Okay. Eh Sisi hatukufunzwa kwa kijiji ku impress madem na vitu. Kwa kijiji hatukuanga na anything. Lakini ndio kwa mnoma ilikuwa ukirudi homo ambie maboys umepiga ule dem Kiswahili na akaingia box na sasa after that ndio inakuwa exam number 2 ni ehe ehe na ehe ulimpeleka ndani mbani <laughs> ulienda naye kwako alienda alikuja kwako kwa kasimba <laughs> so hata sasa hii when i have money ni hard sana mimi nipatane na, na dem nikiwa na do hata hizo siku tukiwa na house chana eh that uh, nianze kukuonesha vile sasa mimi na do ni kwa na bulldog ti eh, ni kwa na bulldog <laughs> <laughs> uh, so maybe ukiniona ninatembea na giraffe yeah. usini urumie urumia tu giraffe <laughs> kibe tafadhali <laughs> kibe at, ata watch sahi youtube yake imefanya vile kitu ata watch anaweza fungua nyingine alafu ataona next week nimesikia na mcdo mingi sana 
mm, anajaribu sinaja CPM ya majui iko juu alafu watu wanapenda matusi na hiyo ndio kitu anafanyanga na try na hiyo content sana anakuja kwa alama anasema i'm just a comedian mm. ameshashikutukana <laughs> alama mjiweka hapo anajara comedian no not... but honestly bro also kibe is one of mimi ni limit kibe one time akifanya kazi ya najaribu ningemwambia bro wewe unaweza kuwa stand up comedian mnaoma sana yeah anaweza kuwa kama bill ba mm, he has this a... dark sense of and then his performance very his performance yeah, okay why are we talking about kibe on my show Pole manze amsikiza nangi let's talk about you <laughs> Kibe I'm representing you here bwana uh-huh. we are not simping let's, for Bina here let's, you puny lambisti <laughs> sadistic <laughs> shit <laughs> let's talk about important things yes ulikuwa kiss yes sir <laughs> uka menyana 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 na mm. Jeff Mote mm. e, ulikuwa na Linda Linda Nyangweso Linda Nyangweso yes ukatoroka no 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 bro let's let's say it correctly eh. that uh, you should thank me for eh. paving the way Wewe ulikuwa drive mimi kwa breakfast bro bro sikia bro Cheki. Okay. come on hata ungekuwa drive mpaka saa hii let me let me let me gen z let me now educate you <laughs> uh, so once upon a time uh-huh. when you are still in the village uko na matope uh-huh. uki, ukisaidia jalango kushika, kushika samaki <laughs> we came to the city mm. we went to church so we conquered then we were called to kiss to do breakfast uh-huh. when uh, mwashimo jalango left kiss fm we were the ones that uh, again the thing i told you about being the best waliangalia by the time of the number 36 tunaona walikufikia number 36 after how many years after 6 years ah after i left 6 years no 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 wacha tujaribu huku chini tumejaribu hawa juu hawa nini let's go but anyway eh tulianza ngayo show during caroline motoko's time yeah eh nikaingia nikafanya na yeye for 3 years okay hapo ndo nilianza ku work na serikali Watu ushinda kusema oji kukizi. Mimi nikiwa na Caroline Mutoko nilitumwa state house nika interview the then president Uhuru Kenyatta. Yeah. And that's when I met him and I met deputy president then William Ruto. We worked uh, for three years uh, Caroline Mutoko left akatuachia drive wakati change sasa. Hiyo kitu sasa mlikuwa mnafanywa ikaanza ku happen. No next year I mean uh, We need a host. I don't know who um uh, <laughs> uh, uh, No no, I don't like that guy. His attitude is not okay. It feels like he's so important. Uh, who else? Uh, unawajua <laughs> wewe. Caroline mtoka unaongelea. Bana. Mtoko alikuwa hata ametoka. Wewe hao adosis ndio ulikuwa unatoka. Mtoka amekuwa kiss hata nikikuwa huko. Amepata alikuwa anafanya kazi nyingine hakuwa na deal na radio. Yeye alikuwa kwa mambo ya ofisi nyingine. Kwa nini unaogopa hii deep state ya Radio Africa? I mean shut up huko I'm not answerable to anybody. Mm? Why are you bitter? I'm not bitter really. <laughs> I'm not even bitter. By the way, do you know when I left Kiss, we left very amicably. Mm. Atu kutoka na beef yoyote ati machungu nini no. Do you know why you left Kiss? Yes. And everyone else who will leave. Yeah. You know people will still leave. Why? Until nirudi tu ni maintain office yangu. <laughs> Wana jaribu ku replace na kuwa hard. Oh, so, so it's about you. It's it's always been about me. <laughs> you get? It's always been about me okay. but now lakini like uko KBC <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry when Maliza KBC utarudi kiss itakuwa na kongoja tu go and save them Si unaenda kusahi ku save KBC na Muliana mkaangusha Ibru Amu unafikiria tu Si ni wena katelo mlangusha Ibru Muliana uko na kipindi expensive kwani ilianguka when they will discover to wagenge to ndokapeleka Ibru wakaanguka Ibru ilikuwa na vipindi za wa Chinese Ibru nayo ilifika mahali <laughs> ukakuwa nilikuwa na leo una get unajua ukiona watu watu wa saba wanaingia kwa show jeki watu ukona watu wa saba kuna nywele kama zangu woza 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 yeye tumeambia wewe tukipuzi bana iko huku bana tunataka tu church wewe ni mnaribu budget za hebrew mkapiga na katelo na hiyo mbogi yenu wakitoka wanafuatia na mic toka <laughs> kamera imeenda vipi ala bila sha chakula mnakula hizo food muli muli angusha ibru no ibru ibru iko sawa bro ibru bado iko wewe ndo utaniambia hii story ni yako mimi sijui <laughs> no but honestly bro again yeah. sitaki mtu aone ni kama niko na madharao yeah. ibru ili tusaidia honestly tu mimi na katelo eh hey, wewe na katelo mimi sana sana waje nisemeni mimi yeah. <laughs> ibru inisaidia kwa sababu show yangu chipukizi show ilikuwa kama hii yako nilikuwa naifanyia yeah. kwa nyumba ah. nimebrand tu meza yangu eh hey, nilikuwa nafanyia chokima huko nilikuwa nimechukua tu desk sema kama hii mimi sifanyi kwa nyumba 
Well, where is that? We advance. Gen Z. We just saw 2023. We are not Gen Z. Oh wow! Mm. <laughs> there is nothing you have done in the industry hey. that si si jaku apo ni kisubavise. Okay. So don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, bro. Mm. <laughs> It's fine. Let's move on. If we die, we die. So, they mm. Then Tamima one time. future. That time we job radio Maisha. We Because of why? You see what happened? Uh, after. <laughs> After I left Kiss, <laughs> after, in Kapitia, bro. after I left Kiss, I left Kiss, I left Kiss, I Kiss, I left 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 Nangalia ule ule amebeba nani? Nangalia naona ule mtu amefollowiwa sana hapo ni bosi yangu tu Churchill. Kwa hii station muzima. Kaya naona mimi mimi na Churchill. Lakini nikikuja hapa onea naona wananifinya wana, wana, wana sana. Wana, ina, kuna mzungu wako hapo. Anaitwa Pete. Alikuwa ananiambia kwanza atambui Mungu. Na jinsi sasa kama wewe utambui Mungu. <laughs> mimi unanitambua. Hey, Anaitwa Sinclair. Anaitwa Pete Sinclair. Uwi. Alitoka. Alienda eh? Mm. Alirudi Australia. <laughs> Sijui yako wapi. Bali <laughs> mimi kuta naye West akitembea. Atajua Mungu ni nani sasa. <laughs> <laughs> Wakati wa kujua Mungu anafika. <laughs> Bwana Pete Sinclair. <laughs> so now, nikaangalia nikaona eh cuz now you know social media was new new. Yeah. Nikaona hapa ule mtu na Eriko sasa hiyo anaenda bro. Naamka na una Eriko of South Africa. Naamka na una Eriko Kisumu. Naamka na una Eriko ndio huyo kesi si jana fanya. to worship te. Eric. No, he was he, Eric opened the doors for me. You know you know to Churchill show. Yeah. Kulikuwa na wewe unajua wasani. I know. Eric ana roza fi sana by the way. So mimi nilikuwa ni kosanga chance manzee ya kwenda kuperform. Juu nilikuwa every time niki audition ambe West Boy. So Eric alikuwa star. Madem tulikuwa hata anatupea pesa. Sorry, madem umelia sana. No, lakini nyinyi wasanii wa Kisumu umetusumbua sana na wasanii. Na asema Eric, wajana wasia na wasanii wa Kisumu. Eric, nikaenda kwake one time nikamwambia master tunisaidie, tusini guide. Wewe unaifanyanga aje? Ananiambia kwanza unavaa vibaya mande. Utikwedi kwa unaingia kwa TV na unavaa hivi. Ile suti nilikuwa navaanga ya yellow ilikuwa Eric. Akanipeka, "Dio kamba yako dunga hii tuti mande." Alafu akaita boy alikuwa anaitwa Miano. Ngo miano akamwambia miano u boy nataka kujanga hapa 2 weeks tunampatia nguo. Unavaa manguo na mimi nitalipa. So for hapa jamii for like one month yeah. Erika kan support. Na vitu alinia yani ni kama go ili work tu. Then immediately now I'm on TV. I'm popular, hakuna gigs. Erika alikuwa na Nicole. Anambia ni ate tunaenda Daystar na kupatia 20k. Naenda napiga E, kidogo kidogo sio ameitwa Rwanda mimi the first time kupanda ndege Eric alikuwa ameitwa Rwanda na akakosa kwenda kanibe tipo enda na Fredo Mondi mpige yoto nikaenda Rwanda mpige <laughs> <laughs> nini yoto kanibe <laughs> kapiga <laughs> yoto <laughs> so tuko na worship Eric hata sasa inaweza worship ubo ameni guide hii kitu ya chipukizi show first budget is the one that paid some D 25000 Na akakana sa midi mbaka asubui. Juza midi ya lukua nona mini kamsa ni ikadogo. Ateki vitu zangu serious. Yeah. Eric akaka hapo studio mbaka asubui. Yake mwambia pana sa mi. Tusaidi o boy. So Eric ni o boy. Eric okay. akona roo kama jalas. So you are in kiss. Unaona Eric akona masho. We ukona masho. Things si are move. happening. I'm not, not I, feel, I feel like I'm in comfort zone. E, tuko sawa ndiyo. Lakini naona. Jeff alikuwa shanza kuzama fridge. Who Jeff wa? Jeff Morty. Jeff hata nilikuwa simu juu hiyo time. Ah. Mm. Fridge I think ameanza kukuza juzi. <laughs> Kama anauza ma fridge. Anauza ma fridge. Eh. Pole no, Jeff. Na ma fridge. Na ma kula. Uko GBS. <laughs> Pole Jeff. <laughs> Jeff anauza ma. Ah. Wow. No, dia dia anauza kubaya. 
Unajua kuna mtu anaona ataelewa. Anafanya hizo show za kuza mabitu. Oh my god, this glass is so nice for only for only 20 shillings you can get this glass. So anafungua. Anaingia ndani kwa fridge. Now this the coolers I mean. But ni hustle. Watu wana hustle lita. Yes. Ni rent bro, ni rent bro. Rent bro. Aya. Wewe well, ukaamua kutoka kiss, wewe so, kuvutwa kiss. Siku vutwa kiss. Nilienda ndika mbia PQ. De, na film mimi imefika time yenye na need ku, ku try new things. Akaanza what are new things? Kaambia na feel nataka kwenda international. Anambia. Kuna madhara au za? Mazonga na madhara. Ndio maana kibya na wewe unakwanga wewe wewe pia wewe kuenda. Wewe pia wewe pia wewe. Kama inauma unafanya nini? Unajunguza. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> sorry bro. Lakini, you know Kiss was the biggest radio station during that time. Yes. Then you are leaving the biggest radio station because you had to go international. Yes. But bro, it was big in Kenya. It was big in Nairobi. Okay, okay. We, we needed we, we well, I need first of all, I meant it. Cuz I immediately nitoka hapo. Pikiwa alikataa hiyo resignation yangu akanipea ah. show ya drive tukafanya fanya show ya drive akaniongeza mshahara kidogo tukafanya fanya ikafika mahali nikaenda kwa nikaandikia HR email nikamwambia mimi nime nasikia manze time has come HR akaniita kwa ofisi akaniambia I refuse your resignation then chaza kwa bahati mzuri nikapata na Moses Kulia na Eric Komondi Eric alikuwa anaenda US si unaona juzi walirudishana pesa sasa waje nikupee uondo so Eric Ehe. anatembea tu town nikamcall nikamwambia mama yangu uko wapi nime nikotoa mama una tu atenda travel naenda US mante tuk 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 hizo vitu zake nikamita kama nenda kuona Moses Kuria tukaenda tukaona Moses Kuria eh Eric wakiona Moses Kuria akaongea at their level sema Eric oh we are going nini US nini 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 eh Moses Kuria akaniuliza na kwa nini wewe uedi Eric akamwambia si huyu mkamba ana ana visa ana hata kitu huyu ataenda aje jaitoka Kenya Mzee sasa na audio mimi do want to go. Nikamwambia yes, you yes, mdo si nataka kwenda bwana. Lakini visa wamenyima mara tatu. Aro, shariti. Eh nataka tusaidia hao wasanii eh uju shibukizi. Saidia yeye kwa private visa. We go with them on uh, next week Tuesday. Kidogo kidogo ofisi ya Moses Gure can call the next day morning. Mchana anaitwa charity can saidia to facilitate uh, visa application after like two days later tukana na interview nikapewa visa. Eh hii time yote unajua sasa mimi nimeanza kuona hii Kiss FM naye sasa pia ita, itawaramba sasa. <laughs> Vile Mwesh alilipa tu ndege hivi. Nah. Ai nikiwa huko ni, naenda kuangalia social media nikaandika barua kwa Instagram. Nikasema manze Kiss I've tried but it's next time. America kwa kili. What's up man nigga? What's up man nigga? <laughs> Nikaingia huko nikapatana na promoter anaitwa Kelly nikapita kwanza na demi yake alafu sasa nikaharibu mambo yangu ya kukua international. Kupita na yesi kupita vibaya yani nikamtoa kwa akaacha kukua Haki alikuwa Asante apunda ni mateke alikuwa no Kelly alikuwa ameleta wasanii wengine mimi nilikuwa nimekuja vingi so sikuwa najua sikuwa nimejua kuna protocol unavaa kufuata bro you don't bite the hand that feeds you no not like that it was not even like in a bad Kelly ni best yangu what do you mean is not in a bad way pita na demia mtu which good way can you pita na demia mtu siku pita na yeye hivyo yani tuli muli tuli negotiate kwa namna hii nilimtoa tu kwa mahali walikuwa nikaongelea na yeye a separate a separate room yako eh no. <laughs> <laughs> wa America no siku fukuzu wa America mm. nikaanza na cancel kwa shows zingine zote eh well alinipanga mm. but ilikuwa na kuonyesha tu vile nilikuwa nimeenda kama sijui protocol za hii America vile unafaa u, uishi na watu mm. but yeah i go to America then uh, i came back home that's when i started to kisha kwa nyumba akili lifungukia America akili lifungukia America nikaangalia nikaona oh kumbe huko America very good aha ehe aha nika realize sasa kumbe pia sisi ni ujinga tunakaonga tunafanya huko mm. tunaringa huko na mistubishi unafikiria umeachieve kitu <laughs> boss mm. turudi America mm. nimekumbuka kitu mm. ni wewe ulipiga picha na Kevin Hart na mkaanza kuleta, kuleta hapa siasa si tukaanza kuleta siasa tukaanza kusema hapa ni jima wa dangani <laughs> jibukizi ulitupanga oh eh hey. Nini lifanyika that story? No, ni story tu yana mwambie yeye ni nini lakini <laughs> The Kevin Hart story bro honestly. Oh mnaanza kuongea kama politician. The Kevin Hart story eh. was a true inspiration for me. No, forget <laughs> the inspiration. That one we know you've always loved Kevin Hart from since time mm. immemorial since mm. I knew you. Mm. 
But you went to America. So the story that was happening was this. Oh, Leandro Kasema, I've met Kevin Hart. He's told me we'll do many things. Ni baku kama ikitabu yaku kapoze kwa ye. Hata ini mrefu kukuliko. Yes. Aya. Na numejua Kevin Hart for two. Aya. Huu karudi. Kuna msichana akatokea kasema chibu kizi. How ungrateful can you be? Hulilala kwa nyumba yangu. Nika kulisha. Nika kuvisha. Nika kopesha pesa ni kupeleke umit Kevin Hart. Yes. Then you don't even credit me. Yes. Unasema venye wewe umefanya nini nini nini. Yes. Hey, let me ask you Obina. You write a book today yourself as Obina. Yes. And you go to Mombasa uh, for a book tour as Obina. And uh, Mzani Wakayole akuje kwa hiyo book signing. Akupate, umsainie book, mpige picha, mkuwe na banta, hiyo story ishi. Huyu Mzani ana need mtu yoyote kumleta kwa book signing yako. Una need Una need chipukizi ana need kusaidiwa una need kusaidia chipukizi aende kwa book signing so unasema udema kusaidia no eh sema ulijipeleka i mean let me tell you let me tell you the story okay and 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 and, and yeah let me tell you the story so we were in america mimi waiwai butita na njoro na rikomondi a city called seattle we performed a show before i had gone there these people have mentioned before had already gone there. So, uh, Wawira is our good friend. Even today, she's our very good friend. She had, she had, uh, she was friends with Njoro. So now, the mistake I made was how I told the story. Iu shamba yangu na hii kutaka kweka kipindi pia sana ilifanya nika tell story differently. However, okay. ile kusema ukweli, there was no point of Hakuna kitu Wawira alifanya yenye ilikuwa ina need nikienda kwa kila interview niende nikisema Wawira alinisaidia kwenda ku meet Kevin Hart because we've, I paid my ticket from Seattle to LA yeah we were sharing a manager me and Eric once we finished the show Kelly did not give me the money for that night so nikaingia kwa ndege nikaenda ni LA kufika LA on my way nikaambia Eric aongee na Kiari you know him amwambia nitumie 30000 kwa Western Union kwa sababu ni ni asubuhi na nimeenda bila do. So vile nilifika nikapata huo demo ya yeah, amefika mbele yangu. So nikamwambia sina do eh, lakini do yangu inayokuwa sahihi kwa Western Union zikifunguliwa tutatoa. Buy for me the book. Yeah. Akaniambia pia yeye ana do. Kwanza vile nilifika airport nilikuwa najiambia yeye ataniitia Uber. Juu tulikuwa tumeongea tu kama wa Kenya tuna connect. Niaje niaje chipo I'm coming tomorrow. Yes yes I'll be with you. I'll receive you. I'll do it. Nikajiambia basi utanichukua airport. So airport hange nichukulia kwa sababu aliniambia maneno yake ilikuwa iko sawa sana. Hange request ubare. Unajua credit rate pia saa nyingine. <laughs> Inaleta pressure. So bila credit rate ilikuwa pressure. Mimi nikaingia kwa Uber. Kwa hizo taxi za zao za yellow hizo. Ikanipeleka mahali alikuwa nikamwambia anisaidie ku, ku facilitate for the book because the book is the ticket. Then immediately tumaliza tukaenda tatike yangu nikaenda nikatoa kiarie ni alinitumia. Mimi yeye na rafiki yake tukaenda tukakula. Tukakula hiyo tatike yangu. <laughs> so then since he's Kenyan, kakwa oh we go to my place. Again, kwa sababu yeye credit rate nini, ubare nini, tukachukua train. Ndio na pia mimi na fan manze. Yeye ana hizi vitu. Nikaenda kwake mali alikuwa anaishi. Tukaongea sana juu ya life, juu ya career, juu ya maisha. You see we are bonding. Nikiwa hapo kwa hiyo nyumba yake ndio nikalala hata eh, tukingoja jioni twende show. Kulala wapi? Kwa kiti tu. Kusugeti. Niko shua pro nilala kwa kiti. Ilikuwa kiti. Chikuwa kiti. Kulikuwa kankal kiti hapo. Siku lala mahali pengine. Mimi nilala kwa kiti peke yako. Na nilikuwa peke yangu mpaka asubuhi. Mpaka asubuhi. Asubuhi hata hiyo ilikuwa mchana. Cuz now we are waiting for jioni. Oh. Met, nilikuwa na show last night. I'm so tired. So badala ya kuhaya kwenda ku, kwa hotel maybe 20k. Ina make sense tu nijiwekelee kwa hiyo couch. But me hata nilikuwa najiambia nikimaliza ku sign book. I was actually to go back to Seattle. Okay. Do we are on tour. Sina time. So we go for the book signing uh, we sign the book I come back we were so excited nika meet na ule Jojo Shokali mimi u dem na Jojo Shokali tukaenda tena nikabaye to drinks hapa na pale unajua tukarudi kwa keja yake tukakaa then now akaniambia bala wende wende kwa hoteli kiti ndio hii kiti ndio hii hapa mimi nikaangukia kiti bro lala tena kwa kiti usiku nikalala kwa kiti asubuhi nikaamka nikarudi kule nilikuwa tukaendelea na tour then one year later uo mrembo nikiwa huko US tena. Unaweza sasa nime hii US na ingia ingia sifuati cartels huko. 
quite independent artist. So how am I tell one I think when you be have you seen what this guy has been saying? This so kwa watu wa kamchocha. Watu wa kam kwa kuwa na some watu wali try to create yo watu tu among our friends, some of the promoter friends of us. Eh wakaonesha wawira that uh, I had bad intention si kwenda kwa interview kwenda kumtaja nilisema white lady ndio alinisaidia but uh, truth of the matter was hata leo yani hakuna ilikuwa book signing ni kama leo kena me meet na Trevor Noah hakuna yeah. msanii hata hata ule mkubwa aje wa South Africa anaweza saidia hiyo moment ku happen it was a boom boom so my problem was vile wasaya wali 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 try ku make kwa big deal nikaona okay fine nimeona wadosi lakini you are all wrong oh, i was sorry huge. for putting myself in a situation where now i had to apologize Yeah by the way did you Unajua sasa hiyo time sasa uko myang ujaijua unajua anga kuna hiyo kichwa unajua sasa even only experience hiyo kitu ya kukuwa cancel for the first time Na una watu wanaku cancel bro una post picha ya kanisa watu wanakuambia umbwa wewe <laughs> Unadanganya nini you are so racist yo eh hey, nini yeah. wewe kwenda huko muongo wewe umeisha So then now you you So when you came back from the states you never went back to kiss When I came back from the states I never went back to skis and I made a decision never to go back on red. I wanted now to to focus on on now pushing uh, my online and stand up comedy and these yeah. comedy tours but sasa hiyo kitu Kevin Hart pia ikanikata mugu. Kwa sasa now ili niaka uoga juu nilianza kuoga for stage. Yeah. Kwa sababu na, nafikiria every time ikaenda stage hiyo ndo kitu watu wataanza kuniambia watanibu. Hata watu walikuwa wananiambia watanibu. So yeah, for like it was huge bro. It was huge for the for two years bro nilishindwa ku perform. Sikilikuwa ni gafla ama narudi exposed. Kulikuwa ni gafla. Kulikuwa ni gafla na mpasho pia. Mpasho ilikuwa not so much but gafla. Eh gafla ilikuwa ikikuweka bro chako kimeenda. By the way I wanted to ask when you and Eric had very fire opportunities to do stand up shows. Like you are the guys who had the favor. Like you you do a show remember there's a show you did at Alliance bro sold out. There's a show you did at KICC sold out. Yes. I used to pay the ticket then I come na kama mwanza mochin. But Why did you guys never put the much effort to work on the material? I've gone to Eric Komondi shows like Untamed Ones, you two, three, four, same jokes. Mm. Mama Mona's just like, bro, all these people, like you guys have corporates. You guys used, I used to come like this corporates, you nani, nani, nani. But I'm like, why are you not putting work and effort in the material? What was the situation? Number one, and I'll, I'll, and I'll answer you three, three ways. Number one, <coughs> Uh, we live in a country where we don't have structures for comedy that before you do a stand up comedy event you must hire sound you must hire speakers you must hire security you must hire grounds it's a lot of work it's very expensive yeah so already putting your mind into doing that uh, itakukulia time mo- <laughs> <It's tari> now utafikiria <laughs> baadaye yeah so unapata most of the time ukitengeneza event hata sasa unataka 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 and then now unajua i think corporate za Kenya zimekuwa na culture ya when they support your event it's not about the talent it's about their conversion so then you've been given 5 million by corporates uh, not to crack jokes but for it to make sell, sense sell sell whatever they are selling yes so unaona sasa pia utafocus na hiyo utafocus sana na kuimpress uh, but also <coughs> comedy bro ni kama music Nikiandika joke yangu tale saba hiyo mamwe si wanane mbaza hiyo bro acha nikwambie naenda waangalie acha nikwambie bro tuko na right ya kupiga joke zetu as long as we want because we write them yeah they are our mystery they are our jokes are expensive one ukiangalia Kevin Hart uangalia <coughs> Cat Williams uangalia Steve Harvey <coughs> uta realize wame tell the same stories the same jokes over the years ni vile tu Eh sisi tunakuanga huku Kenya atuko wangi maybe exposed sana kwa hao. Yeah. It does not I make bro aina ham. First of all tusiweke wasanii pressure mingi ya kutaka. Ndio maana unaona comedians wengi waliogopa game. Ju utaki kuleta it's never that serious. Watu atuchekeshi watu tupime vile sini wa intelligent ama vile sini wanaoma. Tuko tuna ability ya kukrack jo. So si it doesn't kuna it doesn't matter bro. Ni one we are building an industry we need yeah. to build the audience we also need to build the we are teaching people that this thing is a thing that can be done professionally so you work with what you have <coughs> you work with what you know okay. and look at us now you see also we still have a chance to grow tuko na chance bro ya kuenda mpaka to beat africa sahi hatuja tini vijana so now that to make create industry size now ni kujichallenge sahi the more we do it the more we get it better 
Yeah. Hey, now that you said it that way, I'm even looking at it differently. Mm. <laughs> but that part for you can crack your joke as many times as possible. Bro, like, wait Kevin Nata may crack joke yake ya mtoto wake na bibi yake forever. Ni kimondiyo tu yeo change to context. Kidogo tu, ni the same thing. Yeah. Ni the same thing tu. Angalia ta Kat Williams. Eme isitua kiwa adko. Ni the same concept. This thing that people say that <coughs> Kenyan comedians are very shallow minded. Wakikuyu, wakamba. Unajua sisi kama wajalu. Unajua sisi kama... Mm. What do you have to say about that? That is a very bad mentality because now already you go to America, you realize black American comedians <coughs> talk about their black American culture. Why do you want me to, to be deep? Kwa ni unataka ni kuwe mwaisi? Enda ukatafute mba professor. Unake. Kwa kwa spoken word. Eh, unataka ni kupigia joke alafu seme, ah, uche, lima, nzeni, ah, na think. Ah. <laughs> Cheka bro, uwe ndoke. Zonga na umiumbio. Culture ya ukikuyu, ukamba, that's who we are. Wazungu walituwacha awataki. Kwa ni Afrobeats, kwa nini nagro? Sikia wanaija bro, we ni munaija. Kona vile njini culture enu hiko. Munaongea, munaongea kama wa Nigeria now. They talk like that. They talk about their things. Kwa nini utaki ni onge kama mkamba? Kwa nini utaki ni crack jokes za wajaluo? Kwa nini unataka ni crack jokes za wazungu? Then ni ache culture yangu, unataka ni chekeshe watu wa kisumu juu ya wazungu, ama it's better ni chekeshe watu wa kisumu juu ya watu wa kisumu. Ebu enda home bros kumoja, eh? na hini kitu nimefanya experience. Uko shags tu, uchekeshe wa sewa shags tu na vitu zao zile wanajua, one vile wata enjoy. Ukianza kutana kuwambia, you know I've realized white people utachekesha kidogo. They don't relate. That's why Samido is great, that's why uh, Akina Bahati zaiwa wanafanya, wanafanya ngoma na ase kwa sababu gani. Ase, wakona numbers. Wase home wanataka. Muwe njoi sana kina maima wa kiima. You can relate. I'm like, and then I'm like, so it makes sense that when you tell me now I need to be intelligent and do jokes that are not tribal, then bro, this is my tribe. Let me tell my, my tribal story. So wewe kaa tuna intelligence yako, sikiza wazungu, sikiza... Salvador's. Even when Salvador comes here, he talks about Ombokolo, small village in Uganda. You don't want me to talk about Mololongo, small village in Majakos. Okay, makes sense. Your journey has been very inspirational. Mimi me kono ki grow. Pole pole mbaka size yuko deep state. But the first time I met you, you used to work with someone called Matayo. Yes. That's the first time Nikiata kujua jua me. I think Nikwanga around that time. Nikwana ituwa MGZ. Around that time, I think Nikwana tani niko. Nikwana imba ngoma mbaya. Mtu mkono, gani. Mbaya mbaya. Gani, gani. Shake it, shake it, shake, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake, shake. Na unauliza, na unauliza. Nikwana shake them. Na unauliza mutu, how is that bro? Sasa, where I see kwa ya uliza. Shake them. Actually, yongoma is what made me. Yongoma yongoma. That shake them is what made me. Nikwana tutishia bro. Vile uliaza kuingia kwa MC, sasa nikawana umu tu. Hii energy hey, yake. Amkeola evolve. Milikamu kama msani ni kakwa MC ni kakwa komedia na evolve. Awe ni mnoma. But, I knew you with Matayo. Yes. You guys were always together. Jokes then usually kwa the same. Mm. Then at some point ilifika ukata Matayo hapo. Vwap. Yes. Wakasemu liroga Matayo. Walizema hivo? Yeah. Haleluya buwana asifiwe mini mchungaji buwana. Haujasikia hizo nini? Nilizisikia. Walizemu liroga Matayo kachukua nyota yake. Because <laughs> you and Matayo you are equally funny. At some point, ukamuacha tu Matayo, baka seba na temenga na gazeti yake. Lakini unajua bro, big up Matayo, eh, nilifungua comedy club, hata nikamu employee kama manager. Ha mekua kiran kipukizi comedy club, nivile nileta matatizo kidogo. Yeah. But also, this is context. Wale vijana wote wenye wanatoka na vijana wengine, sa hindi omnaanza. Yani ikuwa wewe bro, nilitoka home, nika kuja town bro. Sikuwa nimekuja home, kukuja kukana na vijana tu omoke pamoja. <laughs> Always pave kuwa wewe bro usi usitake msucceed kama mbogi unajua ukienda kwa Masai Mara sasa utaopata antelopes kwa pamoja upate hizi wanyama wengine ndogo ndogo ziko pamoja lakini utatafuta lions ukose lazima ukuje 6 asubuhi ndio uone so mimi uko na hiyo philosophy tu me okay. i have my own plans i have my own dreams and aspirations we can be friends but when it comes to now where i'm going bro i'm ready to go alone yeah. and i don't need the uh, wewe sema nimekuroga wewe sema vile unasema lakini mi niko na direction Matayo ni rafiki yangu. Lakini mtu wa sije sipendi saa yenye na hiyo culture nimeona sana na mavijana. Saa yenye mtu rafiki yako anaenda sana unaanza ku create hate. Unaanza kusema huyu anasonga juu mimi walini. A a. Jikaze tu. Nyota, e, nyota unanyang'anywa aje. Kwa ni nyota ni, ni virginity. Hii. Nyota ni nyota bwana. Wewe <laughs> umetembea sana na wazee. Maka sasa unaongea tu kama wazee. Yaani uko na mna noti na jibukizi anaongea. Hakuna politics. Hakuna politics ni wisdom bro. Wisdom bro. Mtu anaweza take mtu anaweza take break kwa hiyo yako aende kwa choo alafu arudi. Au unataka kwenda kwa choo? Nimeuliza swali. 
No 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 no. Tuko karibu kumalizia. Okay. Si ukaze kwa namna break huko kwa hey, nini? Acha nikwambie. I think hii maji nimekunywa hapa sana. Ukambani tunapimiwa maji. Imekupa. <laughs> Kina niramba bro. <laughs> bro acha niende nikame. Aya. Tumalize. Aya. We'll be right back. Atutoki tuonyeshe tuko miale, si ndio? Aya, wewe kimbia ukame. <laughs> Alright, if you're just joining us, we are live with uh, Chipu Kizi at Miale 72 Lounge. We are talking about life. I've known Chipu Kizi for a very long while. Since he was a nobody to now, he is the uh, president's MC. So we've spoken about how he started his journey to America, Nini, how he was on TV, was on radio and everything. Sasa nataka maswali zenyu. Zile maswali zote munataka kumuliza. This is the part. All the questions that you want to ask Chipukizi, let me know them. All my guys, while you're live TikTok, while you're live YouTube, all the questions that you want to ask him, zilete zote. First of all, wanasema yo kiti imemeza Chipukizi. Umekaje kwa kiti? Kwa kama mwenye kama mwenye kiti? Bro. Atiani watu wako mo konzana venye mutu wa meketi. Ricky Moto, imagine. Sama ya sita, sama ya nangala venye meka china nazema. Sasa bora, si bora meka. Hey, mkona, mkona shisha mbaka kwa choo, bro. Hey, hapa kuna nini? Iyo microphone kidogo. Si, si flip kidogo, i-face yo side nyingine. Ok? Mm. Leteni maswali, leteni maswali zote zile zenye uh, zito. Watu kwenye TikTok. Ok. Leteni maswali zote. So, uh, we've spoken about your journey, we've spoken mm. about the hustle, how you ended up in State House, how you got the Nakata job, and everything. We've gone now back in time. Uh, we've gone back in time. Mukianza, we na matayo, umesema, yes. mutu wajipiga nie. No, I mean, bro. Mutu wakufe kifo yake. Watu wa work hard. Usi, usi blame success ya mutu on... We are different. We, have, yeah. we are different. Nasi matayo tupeke. Yaki unikalche ikona vijana. A lot of people. Mutu unaona mutu wamebuy Mercedes too. Feel like you owe them. Eh, hey, bro. See you, bro. Pachara na watu bana. Okay. Aya. Kuna mtu hapa anauliza kama unataka bibi. That's Alphas. Yes. Uh, we have been uh, have been doing interviews. Mm. Uh, tumekuwa tukifanya interviews. Na tumeanza tena. Intake is ongoing. Uh, so, <laughs> the bibi. Yes, the bibi. Tume, uh -huh. Tulikuwa, tulikuwa tumefanya, we had a quorum. But we do not get what we were looking for. So yeah, hint tank is ongoing. If you you can slide kwa DM yangu. Uh, I mean, offa yangu though ni kama Insta stories. 
24 hours bro mm, for real yangu ni hiyo yani ujaza kuwa fisi bro wewe uliacha kuwa fisi eh yeah. mimi nimeai kuwa fisi wapi bro wewe mimi sijai kuwa fisi obina kama mimi naona watu sahihi ati wakikuingilia na jiambia hawakuju huu mtu hata saa yenye alikuwa hameparara <laughs> alikuwa anazumbua wapi town wapi kama umenyoa moho kiko hivi <laughs> moho kina kabra <laughs> Na umeandika hapa MGZ. Hmm? Bro, sasa kama mtu ni handsome boy home and away. Bro, unaona vile uko na kura mingi we mwenyewe. Kura kwa nyumba yako ni mingi. Wewe una ni inspire manze. I want to be like you my friend. Chimiza, uja, una mtoto? Eh, sina mtoto mimi for now. But, Au, hata wakuwekelewa? Hata wakuwekelewa. Mm. Hata mwenye amekuja na mama yake. <laughs> <laughs> Sasa uko na miaka ngapi? Sasa niko 33. Ah, si even miaka 33. Sasa niko karibu kuanza. Wewe well, usina zinakuambia huyu anza kushiriki kitambo. <laughs> bro tukiwa tribeka bro ulikuwa unatesa. Na yani ulikuwa unatesa. Eh. Hizo ndo siku nilianza ku realize nyewe masomo ni poa. Kitu kusaidia ni ulisoma soma kidogo. Ngonge <laughs> anga kizungu kidogo watu wanaona wewe ni mtu wa maana. Lakini <laughs> mtu bure tu. Hiyo kizungu maana hajaniweka state house. Siki kamba yako nimekuweka state house. No, no. state house nimekwambia na kupanga. Hapo ndo kusort. Eh. Mm. Aya. You with the right guy here. <laughs> Okay, sawa. Eh, question. <laughs> Wewe ulikuwa na beef na mimi? <laughs> Gani? Sijui si ya, wa, ya wanawake. Chipukiza <laughs> <laughs> alikuwa ni kasirikia jo wanawake. There is no reason. Mimi nimekukosea mimi jo wanawake. No, 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 no. What happened? Hey. My soulmate, I think wewe ulifanya hata, wewe ndio ulifanya hata nika. Una siku nimepata na msichana manze, msichana mrembo tu nime like. Nime like tu manze. Like nime, I'm love. Nime, 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 nilikuwa nime like kidogo. Nimezunguka zunguka na yeye kidogo nimeangalia simu yake nikaona ame save ame kuseva hapo kama my love. Angalia na huyu ni obina mmoja nafikiri hata ni picha ameweka. Obina mmoja. You are love. Nibia wewe umepoteza direction na maisha bana. Ah, nikamtoka. Nikawaacha bana. Huyu ni msana mgani huyu? Unamjua by the way. Mgani? Ule wao wow, shiko na dem twin wa mtu. Mmm, <laughs> wao alikuwa soulmate. No yeah. face no case. Mimi sijui cha ninaongelea. <laughs> So demi yako alikuwa ame save kama my love. No demi yako wewe kitu ilifanya so, alikuwa na kuna pita na demi yangu. No demi yako alikuwa na cheat na mimi. I think sijui ulikuwa umefanya nini. So, Sipia niliona drama yenu after like two weeks niona mmefuatana nini hizo mazuri unajua hizo hizo mkutano za nje hapa. Nimekuja Nimekuja nje hapa nikaona umemuita kando nikajua hii ni ile kesi ya jana. Ah. Kwa ni jana where are you? Alikuwa kunataka kuwa demi yangu. I mean nili ni, siko anajua demuti yako siko anajua umeenda hivyo kwa ground umeshika hivyo bro nimefanya namna hii namna hii namna hii namna hii namna hii sasa hiyo ni sababu nilikasirikia no i mean na, ni kitu unakuanga wewe na Eric kuna mimi na Eric nyinyi mnaharibu wasichana hii tao wapi nyinyi mna mna nyinyi kuna vile mnachoma aje lifestyle nini kidogo oh eh hey. sasa kukua handsome ni makosa mm? well hii ni handsome <laughs> Ina kama ndio handsome sasa nao madem tunakosana. Lakini chipukizi ukiweka mimi na wewe hapa hivi. Waambie madem haya. Bro lazima toa state house kwa title. <laughs> <laughs> Twende na KBZ. <laughs> Twende na KBZ na Obina show. <laughs> no acha nikwambie, acha niku encourage. Mm. Unajua unasemanga tall dark and handsome. Yes. Wewe ni tall, dark, dark, handsome kako hivi and funny. Mimi tall dark and funny. Tall, dark and funny. Handsome. Handsome sino sana kwa do. Oh, sasa ndio pesa inaongeza. Sasa mimi Mi... tall dark and handsome kidogo. Mm. Sasa hapo kwa tall hauko. Mm. Kwa dark hauko. Mimi niko down to earth bro. <laughs> I'm humble bro. Ni wana napita na madem zetu kuchini. Humility bro. But speaking of humility, mm. there's something that you're not talking about but it is a win. I saw it and you're doing an amazing thing. Bro, you have a school. So let me tell you something. Yes sir. My mom was my nursery school teacher. Uh -huh. My mom loves children. I even see the way she relates with my kids. Mm. My mom loves, she can teach. There's a time she was teaching for free in some school mm. because she just wanted to do something. Mm. And she went to mm. Shule Vizuri. My dream has always been to open a school for my mom. Hata kama ni kindergarten, hata kama iko na class moja. No, you should. You should. It's in the works. You should. Then I saw you, you came. You opened a school. Niliona ilikuanga building moja kitambo mm. ime grow ime grow ni kuna time ukapeleka kina itumbi ukapeleka kina umba mabati nini. Bro that thing is amazing. Thanks, Now bro. let's talk about that. Yes. Why and how did it happen? 
So why is the same story as your mom? Yeah. My mom was a nursery school teacher. Yo. And you're like three years. Eh. Twini. Status. Imagine. Status. I'm going Think about it. Hmm. Eh. Don't go pay office here. Salas you go. Ah, Starkey. Sini GMC. Salas you attend office. Anyway, Made. Made. Alikuwa, alikuwa mwalimu wa Nasari. Okay. So sisi tunatoka kwa familia ya mabibi wengi. Mm. Our mzee had like seven wives. So e, seven. Seven bro. Sisi tunatoka kwa the seventh. So hapa <laughs> kwa seven. Ni mzee wa Eh. Hapa kwa seventh. Eh hiyo familia ni familia ya walimu. Yeah. Mm. And then also it's a big family where eh Yaani mkitoka kwa familia big hivyo hata ku sauti muonekane yani hata ndio onekane ni hard but i used to see how my grandfather was very tough so uh, my mother struggled a lot trying to you know kujitafutia footing yake yeah. so mimi nikiwa kijana mdogo dream yangu ilikuwa ni ile siku nitapata pesa nitasaidia mama ajenge shule hawache kushinda na andikwa andikwa juu nao unajua mimi nikiwa ushago nilikuwa na mbeba na mike na bike nikiwa class 6 7 8 nilikuwa na mka asubuhi na mchukua na mpeleka na, na mdrop alafu na kuja shule unaona i hated it kwa sababu nao sangine kuna nyesha kukinyesha juu mali tulikuwa tunakaa kulikuwa na maji madhe anapitia kwa maji anakuwa mgonjwa sana so nikiuliza kwa nini madhe ni mgonjwa na ambao ni mgonjwa juu yeye uenda shule daily akikanyaga maji so hiyo ugonjwa hiyo maji imemletea sickness mm -hmm. so me as a young boy i wanted to make it to help my mother have a school now eh uh, i maliza shule before i finish school sister madhe mdogo akaenda spain kama nani so let's sister madhe eh, alikuwa nani si kwetu tuko na sister bro sisi bro hata kina matayo wakisema nimewaroga sisi ni watu tunaombea daily bro <laughs> So sister vile alishika na, na, na mama yangu <laughs> waka waka jenga the first class. Yeah? Uh -huh. So by that time ndio mimi nilikuwa naingia Nairobi. Yeah. Nilikuwa nimekam kole. Vile nilipata do mimi bro. Madhe mwenyewe simu yake ya kwanza ilikuwa ngani wewe tuma pesa tuongeze class. Tuma pesa tunafaa kubaya shamba. Tuma pesa tunataka kuongeza. While that's happening naendelea kukuwa mpopular. So watoto wanakaa kwa shule kwa sababu iko associated na kachipukizi ah, nini so na chipukizi. Mm -hmm. Then uh, slowly by slowly mimi nikitesa huku madhe akatengeneza a way ya kunivuta mguu na hiyo shule. She told me that whatever you are doing the best thing that you can do for yourself ni hii shule kuja ujenge. Mimi nda ndaifanya. Mimi nda ndasimamia mimi tutairan lakini wewe usiharibu pesa na Nairobi. Nilikuwa nataka nilikuwa nashinda kwenda kuambia mamu nataka kubai land Lavington. Nilikuwa ngana hiyo dream. Naomba mamu unajua nataka ninunue chamba Lavington. Sisi tulikuwa na chamba Nairobi. Nataka anaona natoa pesa wapi? Lavington. Naomba nimesikia huko, nimeona huko kala ni mtu huko si amenunua yake Rosalind na ni na ni na ni na ni, na ni, na ni monge jali chukua. Pia mimi naweza nikachukua monge changu ninunue chamba sijui nifanya nini. Oh hey. hey, madha hey, nataka kwenye ni mbalaka tu. Madha aniambia pana kuja nunua chamba hapa tuendelee kujenga issue. Sasa hiyo nani anasemaje Copro? Copronan. See your father. Likuwa Soya. Copro Soya. So you know, you are already, yeah, I mean, you are going to use that. Mzel is going to be some. Okay. So, yeah, and since this is what we are going to do, Nairobi is a usani. Machana na usani. So then, uh, that's how the school came about. But, nilianza kutake shule seriously after, after a while. After COVID, nilianda back home, nika realize what we have done. Jusasa tulikuwa tunai shut down. Shule ilikuwa inafungwa. Juu sasa ku sustain ni hard. Kulipa hawa limu, eh, kui grow. Eh, so ikakuwa, ikakuwa sasa ikona watu iso mbili na tunataka ku shut down. Juu ku sustain ni hard. Bani kaona manze, hii kitu ni kitupua sana. Hii kitu ni kitupua sana tume, tume, tume jenga. Lakini sija kuwa hapa intentionally. Sija taka ku, kujuata inaranaje, mutu matudo. Yeah. So then I even I even changed how I was operating. I said, you know what now? This is going to be the way I'm advertising other people's project. This is my project. Now. As, well. as a matter of fact, now I made a rule that I am not going to advertise anybody's business if they will not support my school. So uh, I cut off everybody I was advertising for. I had like five clients. 
siku zinao nilikuwa na, na struggle na ona ni sawa mnanipea hii dough lakini pia kama nyinyi ndio ma corporates na tumewa access mna ni mnatusaidia kwa vitu kama hizi na mnatuambia mko na CSR and then ka realize sisi wasanii na hii i don't know whether you have experience sayenye watu wakiona umekuwa mjanja wao kutoka that's true so niko na watu wamenitoka wameniondokea nikasema ni sawa tu so what i did nikaenda kwa heritage mabati nikaunga na heritage mabati nikaambia nyinyi mimi naweza work na nyinyi yeah but how i want to do is don't even give me money give me give me a 1 million deal and you give me mabati worth a million I want to, to I want to change this school. Then now I started that policy that now this school I will work with corporates that can help me grow it yeah. and I will use my usani to grow it as well. And you know we are now building a junior secondary school. It's uh, it's my brother uh, is in campus. He's the yeah. one now running it. He has introduced he's, he's, he's teaching kids um, French, hockey, uh, taekwondo. Where we Uh, the whole goal now it was it was a family it was a family plan it was yes i wanted to help my mom but now also my grandfather and my grandmother are among the people who introduce education in our village zile primary schools and ziko up watu wengi wamesomesha na na gukangu ama my grandmother tala tala sasa okay so most of the high schools most of the primary schools and ziko up on hours and end walizijenga my grandmother was among the first nurses wa during ukoloni hapa kenyata so Eh, ni kitu ya familia yes legacy about it but now yeah. that mimi nilikuja nikagundua mimi ni artist I, 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 i realize how the school can do to the village so but like kwenda home na, na range rover bro kupiga, kupiga kipindi ama kwenda kutesa mujua mali nilitoka na mujua kwa nini nilitoka so muta kakwenda hapo ku set example one kuonesha hapo vijana inawezekana kwa ku have jana wote sasa hivi tuna watu mbili they are my friends when i go there we sit down we hang out ile siku tutaenda hapo ndawa introduce kwa obina na mwambia huyu ni obina obina ameachivi tunaongea story obina anawapigia story we've created it's not about the school anymore the school we can actually now i say every school can give grades so walimu sawa someshenu wapite but sisi ni hizi extracurricular activities hii yeah. ku empower vijana hii kuwafungua macho Yeah. Hii tumeenda US tume, tumepatana na mzungu wako na electric bikes. Nachukua hizo electric bikes na waletea. Na wambia niaje? Hizi ni zinatumiwa kama Uber New York. Yeah. Nimewaletea mko mnakuja nazo shule rais. Mkimaliza shule ile siku mtaenda New York, you see you start introducing them the life that I see. You give it to them so that now in future huko mbele labda hao watarudi wajenge hospitali au wafanye vitu vingine. Okay. And I want you to come. Tell I me will. when. Invite me. Bro, I'm jobless man. I'm available. I'm available <laughs> and you will see me. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You know me. Spigangi kipindi. In everybody, you know in the industry, I don't do those cheap lies for I will do the, no, no, no. I don't do that. Now, let's talk two things. One, I want to stock Catello to want to stock the government. Let's start with Catello. Yes. There's some point people said you use kit Catello ukam dump brand yake kaisha ukamkamua pia kuiba nyota yake as usual. What happened? Because I've seen you guys are back together. It's not even about being back together, bro. Again, yeah. uh, all the things I do are called my name. Yeah. So anything I, I can't go to Churchill and say that Churchill used me. I went to his show. To so Churchill's okay. show. This is my show. Katelo is a young show. guy that uh, is my friend. I have never signed him. I've never. I don't manage his life. Mm -hmm. I katushindangi pamoja. Ni vile tu mini vibes. No, no. So, <laughs> so, 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 wasanii tuingie kama kondoo tu tushinde tukipitia the same same route tu zenye yeah. kina ujwangu walipita so for katelo i saw it as an attack and but i appreciated it because niliona wazee wana take notice ya vitu tunafanya yeah. mimi bro siwezi eh si yani yani bro mimi ndakwambiaje mimi ni msetu wa mimi ni mtu mauru tu kama mauru wengine so si siwezi nikakosana na mtu tutaambiana tukosane eh niki need help kwa wasanii wote kwa nini hiyo time sasa watu walikuwa wanasema natumia katelo kwa nini singe kuita wewe unisaidie sinaweza kupigia obina akuje sinaweza pigia wagu sinaweza hata triki ama butita ama all these other comedians 
Catello, we, he, he just he want, he loved my show. He used to watch me when he was in high school and I could get inspired. So I came to Niko, my show is top. Na mimi ni ende America. Ni ende kufanya vitu zangu zingine. Sasa Catello ni ya grow. I ende afanya all these other things. Catello show. But he's my boy. He's uh, Nikijana Mzuri. He's one of the smartest people I've met, by the way. Yeah. Speaking of also, uh, Nani, Owago. Owago liku nyanga nyanga dames, ndiyo? Wago unajua mimi nilijuana na yeye kwa lodge. Mimi nikijuana na Wago. Ile ukweli. Mimi acha nikwambie. Wago alikunya haja dem. Wago amenifanyia vitu mbaya sana. O Wago tulikuwa tuna nakumbuka tulikuwa tunafanya show. Hivi ana hichi ni kitengela. Hapo nomad kitengela. So Wago alikuwa anga star. Mimi nilikuwa hata sijulikani. Nilikuwa anga hata hata alikuwa photocopy ya Jalas. Kabisa. So alikuwa akiongea watu wanamsikia. Sema ni brother ya Jalas. Watu wanamsikia. So Freddy alikuwa yeye ndio anampea tu show. So tukienda Kitengela ulikuwa unapata Wago amepewa room yake, food. Na saa nyingine Freddy amemtafutia madem kadhaa. <laughs> Nale. Sisi mimi na Slippy. Mimi Slippy tulikuwa tu ma water boy. Eh, hey. tafuta mahali utalala. Jipange. Ndio hiyo. Sasa ume, uko Kitengela hauna nyumba ya kulala. Unangoja kukuwa asubuhi ndio uingie mat urudi Nairobi. So one time anze nikaenda tukapiga show na Wago. Lakini kakuwa Wago niliona room yake mahali analala. So <laughs> <laughs> nikamwambia yeye yeah, anachapa show mpaka saa 8 nikamwambia wago mimi acha nikalalange tafadhali nikamuomba kanembea kuna shida bwana enda ulale sika <laughs> kufungu kika kifungu utapata <laughs> nyumba ya mjaluo <laughs> ningeenda nikalala wago akakuja 3 na dem unaje mimi nimelala na mko usiku naona miguu ya dem <laughs> ah wo umetaji story that was not the story no sina kupigia story oh okay okay hebu endelea ehe Nika <laughs> Nika jina hiyo sani kwa ni pia iko aje. <laughs> Nika washa ta. Wao wakaniambia bwana chipukizi hiyo sani natakanga hivyo nikatoka nje nikaenda. Uh-huh. So tukajuana na wago hivyo. So kama wago unaweza sema alinyang'anya msichana mm. siwezi kataa. Uh-huh. Juu ule jamaa ni master. <laughs> <laughs> Story ilikuwa wewe ulikuwa na ulipeleka demu yako kwa room. Mm kwa rumi yao wago mm. sasa mmekam kupiga show uwe kurudi unapata wago ameingia amefunga room hapana ama this is a different day huyo ni well i don't know kama tunachoma <laughs> ni sleepy huyo <laughs> <laughs> kwa wewe huyu <laughs> so mimi na sleepy unajua sisi ni vijana tu eh. sleepy yako kampo mimi niko kole eh. <laughs> so huyo ilikuwa ni fredo so fredo mondo alikuwa boss yetu Uh, yeah, so yeah, one time was a boss for a long time. <laughs> one time and alikuwa na gari. Yes. So Fred amesema bwana tipu nataka twende na nyinyi nitawapea lift na sleepy twende kitengela niko na so nitawapea 1000 baada ya so. <laughs> sleepy akaingia kwa gari tukaenda tukafika so Fred unajua ni boss unajua mdosi anakupeanga koti power bank yeah, simu. Yeah, yeah. Hiyo kazi nimeifanya sana. So Fred kitu ya kwanza aliambia sleepy ni <laughs> Shika hiki funguo yeah. eh, peleka madam go kwa room umeonyesha nyumba yangu ni gani alafu kuja tuanze show Ndio akapeleka Okea Ready ago right you are ready you are kapata Ah wewe mtu nimetuma rudi Eh Zilipi even alirudi Nairobi my friend So I perform just not on the stage. No 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 the stage. <laughs> na na Huda si pia waga liwanyang'anya Huda <laughs> kwa show yako Machakos. Eh hey, bwana Huda amekama hapo manze tume tunamuogopa. Eh. <laughs> Wago anapotea na Huda amepotea. <laughs> hmm? Wago ni stima. Wago nyiro? Eh. Wacha akae America. Wacha akae America. Mm. Mm. Wacha relax huko. Mm. Now the government you are part of the government now. I've also had a couple of people here who are not part of the government and some who were or some who thought they were. Wale za hii menda asubuhi na mapema about Boniface Mwangi, about akina Kimbikimbi akina Gaucho, Babu Wino and the likes. Yes. And the argument we always have with them all the time, I'm always telling people relax, slow down. The government is working on A B C D. Na ule simu utaandikwa hapa, mako tunasema nga wewe unashindwa unatetea nini? I'm like guys, you're rushing it. It's just a year. Yeah, according to Rigiji, a truthful man, they got a dilapidated economy. Pesel kwa metolewa ni nini ni but they are planning. Okay? Yes. But the people I'm hosting all the time are saying contrary. But now you being part of it, ama uko inside umesikia umeona mm. fununu. Mm. 
where do you think you are going? Do you think we're in the safe hands? Ama do you think you ramba? I think we're in the safest hands, bro. Yeah. And it's it, it's it's a generational thing, bro. If you ask me. Okay. If you look at where our country has come from, <coughs> uta realize country yetu imekuwa kirani wana watu wa generations. Si generations zilipata generations zingine zikiran. Yeah. But right now we have a government that is being run by the people of this generation. And then na feel we have a president who is intentional. Unajua? Yeah. And so it can only get better that after 10 years, I think in the next five years, you're going to see affordable housing become a reality. You're going to see maybe content creation become a, a lucrative business. You're going to see uh, these athletes, you know. You're going to see, we, 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 you know, I'm happy that Obina, to go up on an MC was state house. Aunge itana ivo. Uh, in ah, the other yeah, regions. Yeah, mm -hmm. So we are truly headed <laughs> to the right direction. It's just that uh, politics, politics, the Kenya village is structured, is structured uh, I think politics too in general, is structured to say to agree or disagree. So when we agree, uh, when we are agreeing and disagreeing, Kwamba that the bigger question is what will happen after this presidency? Yeah. Uh, we have a beautiful country, we have a beautiful infrastructure. William Ruto has taken up. Yeah. Then after that, our generation now, Bala Kwanza Kusema, oh, ina happen to Nanid Kwanza Kujipanga. In our time, bro, eh, we utakuwa, utakuwa nini, tutafanya aje. He Kenya, Sisi, what we are young, when you are the future leaders. Saizi ni to focus na yo. Huyu mwenye yako saizi, he can only do so much. But, yeah. and you think about it, you realize that Huru Kenyatta and the people of his generation formed a presidency. William Ruto and his generation formed a presidency. Siki tu imaanza saai, William Ruto kianza jani yaki utapata alianza kugavan kitambo wakiwa kijana. True. So the same with us. We need to not focus on uh, the direction we are heading, but also start paving our way for our time when our time will come, generation yet to Kenya it change, bro. It doesn't matter who is in power. It doesn't matter who is your MP, who is your governor. Kenya me kuatu apa Mike Sonko kiwa governor. Kenya ta kuatu apa maybe we kiwa governor wa Kanairo Skumoto. Amen. Amen, manze. So to to the right direction, and I feel like we have a to kona president mwenye ni hustler, president mwenye anajua kipindi, president mwenye anaelewa system. Kujua kipindi now that is where the problem is. Mm -hmm. What wanna feel mm -hmm. most of the statements ana make ana piga watu kipindi. Kujua kipindi I mean anayazaelewa anayelewa 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 akisema akisema I need mtu unajua and you chukua kitu kama asla fund. He knows what he's saying. Saying that gas lazima 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 gas, gas itashuka. Gas cylinder. Gas gas unajua bro Electric bikes. Unajua bro. Electric cars. Unajua bro. Na watu wantaka unga. Unajua bro. Watu wakatu wedo. Unajua bro. Mwenye nyumba za watu zenye wata ishi. Yes. Those are the things that people are thinking. People are like, wait a minute. But you see bro, ukiangalia hii Kenya, na wende usome manifesto zote zenye zime to govern. Uta realize bila Kenya ilikuwa independent. Uchomo Kenya hata li make declarations. He had a vision for the country. So your vision I could achieve within one year, but I could manage within that one year and get declare vision zake. So President and I just say about gas. It might not happen now. But the way governments work next week. Uh, it materialize, bro. No joke. Now you may materialize. Gas ni ni bay me sugar. Ama una to me a mudosi. Gas bay me sugar. Gas me sugar mudosi. Because uh, according to the statement, I'll say, I'll say next week, ni, 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 Sometimes, you know, the, the, time, the, the, ni, ni. the, 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 Kulikuwa na President Uru Kenyatta alienda NYS, iko wapo miritini, haka tsema, haka meka presidential pronunciation that this one should be made and rehab. Nilingia na kada three years later, after I make your declaration. Nikapata your declaration, haija ikuwa actualized. So, about meeting, one of the stories we used to talk about is to make that declaration 
i actualize leo rezoli sema hii tani we into area fanyike ifanyike so unapata it's a process hezi ya pen tu sasa hii yeah, yeah. <coughs> pole pole haya uh, if you have any burning question the guys on uh, tiktok and the guys who are live on youtube you fire them now because we are winding up mp mca yes. or yes. governor yes. ni kiti gani una kimbilia next 2027 mimi sije kimbilia kesho yote. Okay, where are you positioning yourself? Because Fununu Fununu wanasema aje. Wanasema niko wapi? Wapo Tala wamesema wamekuwa naona vile unakuja ukuji vizuri. Eh no, bro. politics is not my thing. I don't think that uh, if I ever be in elective politics, I'll run for president. But I'll never want to run for Utaki kuja repo MCA kidogo nini nini. Uh, bro, I feel like my experience though as a, as an artist already una kwanga umepo hiyo platform na wananchi kufanya hiyo hiyo kitu nataka kwenda kuvaa yeah. i don't have to vie in tala au matungulu ndio nilete development already we are doing that without being in being in peace no. i don't have to vie for for to be a governor of machakos to saidia watu wa machakos na za wasaidia mimi nichipukizi na get governor mtu alitoka akatuacha wavinya anatoka atuache na watakuja wengine wengi bado tutaendelea kukua Uh, who we are in the yeah. same counties politics me or rather play behind the scenes it's not really my thing kwenda ku convince watu wa kusaidie ndio uende uwasaidie na onanga already nishajiingiza kwa hiyo space yeah. the moment that yeah. ulisha kuomba obina when ilikuwa na juzi ukipea na mpira mahali na nikashika umesema tu hapo utaacha lunch kwa nini unaacha lunch na wewe CMP ni you how to you have another relationship with those people that is not really leadership yeah. wanakuona wana expect lazima wacheza macho wanakuona wana expect mtu anakuona hivyo bina anaona anaweza make it muona watu hapo wakikutumia dm yeah. na wewe si wewe you are not you are not unasema uko jobless mtu anakuambia bina manze mimi naomba naomba so naona hiyo gift tunakuanga tumepewa na Mungu unaweza kimbilia siasa uiwe unajua uwe hiyo ukisha uwe hiyo nao ujue ni hivyo for those people think maybe when they get that seed now they'll help even more Bro na pia unajua you, you will help even more utaenda upate kuna politics oh huu mrengo ule mrengo law ndio hiyo sheria ndio hii tolewe e, utolewe tena without time hujafanya anything time ndio hiyo utadu nini then sasa unataka kurudi ndio maana unaona it's easy for me now I'm back on in, kufanya comedy yeah ningekuwa nime fail kama MP ama ningekuwa former MP hebu niambie sasa narudi aje ningekuwa noma chipukizi show is back Chipukizi show is back every right? Monday night. Yes. KBC. Hata kama umesema KBC ni ya wazee, hapo ndio tu. Pension tutakula na wewe. Hapo tutazeeka nayo. J. Huu ni ngwana. So itakuwa. Tashtua wazee huko. Sasa muda mpata. It's too funny. Eh, sambili. Chipukizi is back on KBC 8 yes. to 9. Eight to nine. We are also doing Monday. live recording on okay. uh, like this week we are doing live recording on Friday okay. at Boma Hotel. Tuna tisha elfu moja wale wanataka kuja kuona. Okay. And yeah and also it's important I mentioned to Kimalizia that uh, this coming December. Yeah. We are going to the government is planning to 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 celebrate the creative economy. Okay. So we are going to have a whole week of uh, creative creative conversation. The president will be having conversation with some Hollywood stars I think when he goes to America. They will be invited in Kenya for for to interact with us. We 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 have a whole week conversation about the creative space okay. and the comedy show that we wanted to do. You remember, I wanted to celebrate for the, our first interview was to come for Ten Toes Down. Ten Toes Down. So Ten Toes Down to Naifanya that week of Jamuri. Na government ime ime chukwayo project yetu yo product yetu itakuwa entertainment for uh, Youth Connect Africa and also uh, we have a day during jamuri so we'll have comedians from uganda tanzania we will have uh, cat williams dj will come we'll also have some hollywood stars who will join us hata pia wewe nitakuangalisha vizuri ndio ukuje so in terms of government delivering especially now mambo ya usani i feel like ubina we are heading the right something direction. happening you know wamepea mbaka gengeton a whole day kutakuwa na gengeton festival hapo e KCC maboy washikane wakuja watalipwa wa hype show yao wafanye president akama atand show yao you know okay so na feel kiusani going the right direction na the right direction my man i saw you doing the live recording the first one for chipukizi show yes a lot of big names came through yes including a lot of fake individuals <laughs> because of the position you hold 
Niliwaona tu hivi niko like this guy is here. This one I'm like huyu na huyu. Hmm. Wameenda hapo kulamba. Unajuanga hawa watu eh? I know them bro. I've dealt with so many bro. You go for some meetings. You are told you could have gotten this job but Nani? Chikukizi said mm. you are sema. Mimi kuna mtu alikaa kwa boardroom akasema mimi nalewanga vibaya sana kwa kazi. Eh. Wala at we were told you know you can't control your alcohol so you are worried nini. Mimi wanasemanga sina sina discipline. Mimi ni conman. Ndio hiyo conman discipline. So me I saw them on your show there. Eh hey, nikaangalia niko like ha. Huh. Umeenda kulamba nataka mupatiwe deal za. <laughs> but sawa. I also wanted to ask you. Yes. Why did you cancel 10 shows down and why were 10 shows down and why were you doing it in Thika? Uh, I got sick. Yeah, uh, yeah, the same story I was telling you about ulcers and alcohol got yes. got that whole problem. For the last two years nimekuwa niki self medicate tumbo yangu. Okay. Nilikuwa nafikiria ni ulcers na nisumbua until uh, nikaenda hospitali kukuwa checked. Yeah. But then nilikuwa nafanya Thika because uh, uh, Mount Kenya University gave me uh, a, a nice deal that uh, to, to, uh, to, to, and then unajua mimi kwa thinking yangu ni kwa sababu tulikuwa tunataka kuleta Africa under one roof uh, i realize i saw that auditorium in mount kenya that theater of theirs it's very beautiful so nilikuwa natafuta mali tunaweza piga international stand up show mzuri na pia tujaze mimi believe tunaweza tujaze place yote mbosi so then vile nilikonjeka ikabidi nime stop Okay. Doka liniambia ni choose. Unataka kwenda ufanye show ama unataka uteka break ya 2 weeks okay. tukutibu. Okay. Mm. Ka relax. Haya maswali zinakuja hapa. Um, about your sickness, uh, they were worried. Uh, Katela na Rudilini mheshimiwa. Katela anarudi kwa show yake. It just aired today and it's also on YouTube, si ndio? Yes. Uh, which was, was the site. But also even I mean Katelo Katelo ni msani ni msani ako na space ya ku grow. Asiye zitakawa sasa sana wa wa place kama mtoto wetu sana. Yeah. Mimi nataka tu encourage a grow. Tu encourage a kuwa zone man, tu encourage a kuwa zone in his own space, a create his own artist. Yeah. Una get. Tusifanye tu the same thing Chachila alifanya, unajua? Alitulea for so long. It's only watu wakakuwa comfortable. Watu wakakuwa comfortable baka yeah. leo. So even for Katelo, the more growth, more growth. Yeah. Si mtoto achivukizi. Okay. He needs to grow beyond me, you know? Okay. I uh, love the wisdom of our state MC. Azad Zana Blada. Story. Where, where? Aya, kuna mtu hapa nataka wanunulie keyboard ya church. Ilibwa. Church gani? Ilibwa. Mimi ni fan wake jipu since church ilisho. Muulize kama naweza kusupport church yetu na keyboard wa Liba, please. Church yao ni gani? Zijue church yenu ni gani? Kwani kuna zile hawezi nini kama Lejo Maria? No tukisikia okay, leja watumia keyboard. Na nani aliiba kanisa sasa tena? Tulete ingine waibe tena. <laughs> Because huyo mwizi kaja patwa ataiba tena, si ndio? Eh. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Mafanzo wa Kibi wamekuja, atio account ya Kibi merudi. Happy for him and you guys. Uh, did you break up with a light skin girl? Hmm? Did you break up with a light skin girl? Which one? I've, I've had several. <laughs> Which one? He's had several. Eh, uh, ambia chipu anyoe. Anyoe nini? Mm. Bro, first of all, muambia watu. Eh. Wale watu walifaitia freedom ya country yetu walikuwa wamevaa hivi. Uko na guys. So unafaitia freedom. Mimi nafaitia freedom ya my youth man. <laughs> Mimi nimekataa mambo ya beberu bwana. <laughs> you must look akina Pete Sinclair. Ah, uh, ndo <laughs> uh, <laughs> mabeberu. Wow, low blow, low blow, low blow. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Watu wanasema you bring back your shows. Yeah, they are waiting. Hiyo uh, story yako ya wago imewamaliza. Uh, kuna mtu anasema Melala Nja akiwatch hii show anaitwa Alpha Swafula <laughs> <laughs> sasa. Mshindi <laughs> <laughs> na kupika. Kuna ile show ya Obine inaitwa Kula Kula show. Eh. Yeah. Watch you but I watch you but kitu. Melvin Cornell Obina love you yaka. Thank you. I love it too. Eh uh, salimia gashagwa. Huyo <laughs> mtu anajana inaitwa nani? Shetani nifisi. <laughs> Ati Obi na ischipua Freemason ah. or are you too? Ah. Wewe umeingia Freemason wewe. Wewe ndo unaambiwa umeingia wewe. Ameniuliza or are you too? Just like kukulizo swali. Sasa wewe jitetee. Unajitetea kwa sababu bwana mimi Yesu ni mokozi wa maisha yangu. Mm. Mambo ya kufanya usherati nimekataa. Eh. Sisi ni Mungu mwanzo ame to keep bro. Okay. Mm. What after being our state MC what's next? 
what's next, man? We are trying to, and I'm encouraging you to join me in this journey. We, we are young, bro. We yeah. are 33, bro. Between now and the next 20 years, bro, we have a chance, bro, to hear international We, I feel like Kobina, we have a chance to stand on the Africa's stage and, and tell our African story. Tell our Kisumu stories, tell our Kenyan story, tell yeah. our Kambani story. So the next big thing is, we are looking for that big break. We must go to that big stage, bro. Yes. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, my brother, for coming. Thank you so much. We you wish have fun. you the best on your new show. And when you call upon us, we'll come through. Of course. Keep doing what you're doing because there's someone, someone, I say, Morio. Venye ujituma. Mm. Like you always have like a way of... When mm. it comes to maji. Milango imefungwa. Sama utata tukusip. Sama ya. Asha jibukizi na ule. I'm like. Yan tunakuanga na wewe hivi. Kidogo tuko alliance. Kidogo ndo hiyo uko chachilisho. Kidogo uko wapi. Sijiu wapi. Umekua tu somehow. Kidogo uko America. Unana venye ulikuwa America. Hati umejipeleka tuko visa Moses Kuria. Visa two, three days America. America. Oh Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Mm. Like you always just been. Keep doing it. Don't stop. Thanks bro. There's always somebody. This is what I always say most of the time when I do things. We'll have a couple of people who will hate because they don't understand. And yeah. people hate what they don't understand. But there's always that one person who will tell you, Hey, Chibukizi, I'm going to study it. I'm going to study it. So keep doing it for that. Thanks, bro. And also for yourself and for mom and for the youth and in Tala. And now that now you, you want to build a school, yeah. me, I'll give you space. You will come. Once we go to Tala, you will come. Once we go to Tala, you will come. Once we go to Tala, you will come. You will come to Tala. Not to build. My school, yeah. Kuja Kitaka work a tent, yeah, okay. Obina corner. Okay. Come to my school okay. and have a mark. Okay. I would I would love I would love I would love I don't want to Let's ask do it. I don't want to ask for much, but when you come there you will tell me. Let's do it. A tent I'll give you. <laughs> <laughs> Is the tent you want? And also bro, I encourage. Yeah. Do that school. Do it. I will. Do it. Do it. I do have it. to. You don't have to run it. You can do it and leave it at home. And also make it local. You know, sometimes we try to do be too expensive. Yeah. Do something there for. There's one group of schools. Eh, pana. It mm. it will grow to that. But what you want eh, what we have to home, we have a group of schools. We pay level here, and we pay appreciate. Okay. You know, and it's also a business. Yeah, it's also actually it's actually a very a very good business because actually now that's the plan I have now because now I've realized giving things for free has become a problem. At a church, what we are going to have a bit of and you want to go to a church. You want to go to a They don't yeah. appreciate them. Okay. So now we, are, we, are, we are, have engaged government, and I think by next year we will see some announcements. But goal ni, I want to, to create a school, and instead of make it a free school, we have scholarship programs where we have 200 students paying, and we have like 50 who are on a scholarship program that benefit from the same quality education but these ones who are paying. So right now tuna put infrastructure in your watoto wako when as I come home up on your house na wakuja home work you are smart. But go like kwa now wale wapo kwa village wale hawezi soma mtoto wako anaweza kusomesha. Jiwe na jiwe anaweza afford 50,000. So unachukua wa home wanasomesha na wako. Just like stare they do. Wow. Okay. Brilliant mind. The gentleman we've just hosted tonight is Chipu Kizi. He has a brand new show back on KBC. Catch up with it every Monday, 8 p.m. till 9 p.m. And after that, you can get it on his uh, YouTube uh, channel as well and his social media platforms. Apart from him singing for the president, he still does MC. Yes. So corporates as well, also still looking for event hosts. Chipu Kizi is the guy. Birthday, uki break up na mtu wako, nite hapo. Divorce party ni nini. Divorce party ni nini. Na represent. Na lima, bro. Na lima. Siki yo wago laki. Si mikono ju. Zama runi migu. Thank you for watching the show. Comment, like, and subscribe. We'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully. Because the guest that I'm to host tomorrow is here to confirm. Tomorrow I've had to go in a raburu. Wabebe. So he's here to confirm. He had an engagement kidogo. So I can confirm. Tuta represent. As po confirm tena unajua kama kawaida. All right? Comment, like, subscribe, tell a friend about this show, share, and also let us know in the comment section below who is the next guest or that person that you really want us to host. We'll inspire you, we'll entertain you, and we will motivate you. Good night. God bless.